But there it's is an this, shit to And this through. is the art of the bee debate. Debate. It's, it's, a, it's not a requirement that they be. No, it's not a final time! Time! It's not a requirement. What? I don't know. He's doing a thing. What? Oh. Dude. Hold on, Aiden. So you d No, Aiden, hold on. Aiden. Oh, it fits you great. Mm hmm Yeah? What's up? <laughs> that's your- That's your Aiden. That's your Aiden. What's up? Get us in as Aiden. I'm not- I, Here, no, I'm not get, I'm not being Aiden. Dude. I just want you guys to know- I want you to know, sorry, you, over there, hey, yeah, hey, buttercup, Get up. yeah, I want you to know is this is how we see you. You look like so somebody in Moneyball. Cool. Kind of cool? Do you think I look cool? You, you look, look kind of cool. cool. You right? you look cool. Are you kidding Anthony me? Anthony grows hair and he becomes yeah. Tony Starr. Tony, Tony Starr. Star. Tony Starr, LA I look actor. Like, I look like I produce porn. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. I don't think that's cool. I think you look cool. Yeah, ethically. You look like you create ethical porn. <laughs> what I'm saying is, this is how we see you. Look, I know that this whole thing's kind of turning on you now, but we think that this is a better look for you. Yeah. We want you to stay this way. I'm the, not doing it. Because, you know why? You get the two You know why you guys want me to stay this way? Because it looks terrible and you don't have to be me. It doesn't look it bad. It doesn't look terrible. It's Dude, a great jacket. Look at Love the, that jacket. I'm talking about my hair. But the hair doesn't look bad. Oh. You were insane. I think if it gets longer, it's going to start looking worse. But like when it's slightly growing oh. in a little bit, I don't mind it. You know what's funny? It's only really cool if I'm Hunter Thompson, but you don't know who that is. My, name, my name's that. Bruno. I'm a fucking journalist, you dipshit. Name, you, the name's Bruno. I'm the cultivator of fame. You came in today. I saw your hair. I was like, wow, it's grown out a lot. And I was like, oh, it looks good. You, you know what you did to me? You've been a, you know what? You've been insecure since you've grown mm. hair and a doucher. Yeah. I've always been a doucher. <laughs> no, 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 no. But you've been a doucher <laughs> about physical appearances more than ever. No. I, I walked I've in today and you did this. You did this. You know, you know, I think and, and for you, you think that had to do with your audio, body? For audio, yeah, because I, I walked in and you went, you got a haircut. That's what you said. Yeah, because I, it looks good. It yeah, looks but why'd you say it like that? I would say that normally no. any day. No. You'd be like, let it on her haircut. This is Are you kidding this me? Let it on her haircut. I, 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 think haircut. I, think I think you're insane right now. You have become an asshole since you've been I've out been here. I've been an asshole. I'm the same asshole. It's getting worse. I, I don't think that's true. I think it's like reverse Samson. You've said that on the last episode. You don't remember jokes on the podcast ever. I think it's more wise than a joke. But you said it before already. For those who don't know, Samson's from the Bible. <laughs> Man, I don't know. I, he could just be like, you know, it's like he he decided to shave it off. He went bald and we were all like, oh, he's bald now. But now when he's growing his hair. I would tell him he looks good. Maybe he's kind of pissed. You know, no, I'm not. Don't try to break yeah. me down. We're, we're theory crafting you. Hold Can you up. relax that's for a second? Not a bad, that's not a bad you know theory. He's like, I, I spent all this time being bald. Oh, also, but maybe I could have kept my hair. You know yeah. cool. I think it looks bad. I, me, I do. Yeah, yeah but, but we but, think it uh, looks kiddo, good. Kiddo. <laughs> I think what happens too is when people right. go bald, it's kind of like people up lift people who are bald much like women mm. uplift other women mm. right like 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 <laughs> even if they don't look good I think, there's no solidarity i, I, yeah. think, I think women are, are actually further back in line than bald people and needing yes yeah and then i think for bald people it's like you look amazing you and you do look amazing that's insane you look great so you're saying right outright that you're patronizing me no what if you like <laughs> no, hey, he'd be patronizing, bald people people are he'd be patronizing you if you were bald yeah but, but you're, you're not, not everyone right shut up bald if, people are the middle of the bus if you think it looks so Rosa good <laughs> if you think it looks so good <laughs> yeah. shave the top of your head pussies no no, no. <laughs> that's not how that works if you think <laughs> it looks so good no, 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 then no. do it no. oh no 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 whoa no. whoa he's talking crazy now we don't want to do that hold on hold on hold on that'd be insane to voluntarily do that that'd be insane can be insane Oh, that, that it'd we, be insane to do it for yourself, is, right? Is, you wouldn't want to do that. What you I think, sweetheart? Can I cut in? It looks good for you. Is what you think it that looks, what we think is we think everyone looks good bald in the world? Is that what you think? That's, so you're saying I'm so unique that this is for me? Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's so interesting. And French people. But but if this happened to you, it would also look good because you couldn't control it. Right? Horrifying. It'd be horrifying. I have a birth scar back here. Actually, can you see it? it should be like Your slightly red. Scar? Looks, oh yeah, I, I do can't see it. It it's, looks like a it's, constellation. It's hard, to, oh. it's hard to see. Yeah. Yeah. So if I if I go bald, it's just a big red splotch. It's not that bad. They I mean, you already, it's they shaved, pulled, the doctor pulled right me out from that spot with just his nails, uncut Clearly. nails, and he yeah. just scratched it up. He hooked you like a fish. Yeah, he actually <laughs> used a hook. <laughs> and, then, and you were flopping around uh, and your mom was like, Oh, it's a pesca. I like the <laughs> I, I'm, I like the hair. I would like to put my I'm, I like I like it. I'm I not think it looks bad. Let's 
get back to the show. Episode 102. This, this is the show. 10, I know. By the way. 101? 101. Why the fuck would you correct me when you're wrong? Mm -hmm. 102. Why would it be? He's, he, he didn't get the memo. He didn't get the memo? He actually he just didn't, didn't remember the memo. memo. I, the memo. I got the memo. It's 101. And <laughs> let's focus on... 102.7. Kiss FM. Let's focus on, SoCal. on what you're wearing. Because I thought this was very funny. Oh uh, <laughs> If you lick this, he's like kiss steering wheel. Do you want to do that? I've already I, I've it. kissed him at some point. Okay. I? No, Wait. I haven't. I've never kissed you. Yeah, that's fucking right. So anyway, <laughs> what are you wearing? I'm wearing a Balenciaga uh, shirt. It's not. What is it? Looks shit? like a Blick Art it's materials. Just, it's just a merch. little. You like Blick Art? That's the thick paint, right? I like, had this jacket. That's what I do with a gun. The, a Amen posted this jacket on his Twitter. He was like, "Yo, is anyone can know where I can find this jacket?" I, I lost it and I want to buy it again and I really like it a lot. I and he posted you're, you're saying this. like he's an asshole, but he just lost a jacket. And he's an asshole. And I've looked for it for a long time. And, he, and he's tweeting with like a douchey undertone, like, I'll pay you $20. And he yeah. thinks he's better than me in the tweet. I can feel it. Yeah, he thinks he's better 100%. than me. And you're like, dude, fuck I don't want this. somebody to go through like an hour of searching for it and not be compensated and he, and he's for it. He's retweeting him on a on a private plane and it's like oh, yeah we get yeah, that it. which was insane we get it it's like we get it you fly in you fly like t swift it was, does it was, it was, it was, it was maybe plane. wishful thinking but i'm gonna say this actually in the most uh, uh bad faith way i can ever say yeah okay. this is he's reading it in sweet <laughs> maybe wishful thinking but <laughs> i lost the jacket i'm wearing this photo ages ago and i've been trying to find it somewhere to buy it again if anyone find it, would super appreciate it. That was actually like it came off really nice, even. Like, yeah, I, like, really? Try, yeah, yeah. Even the to way you faith? read it didn't sound that bad. It actually came because off of great. how I wrote it. The only thing bad faith is that I can tell he's trying to be mean. Yeah, but it like didn't even come off like that. No, mean. no. To your average person, it sounds normal. Well, you're on a private plane. And it looks like me. And Poiker looks like you and Nick. And then uh, and then Eamon is there. That was a fun ride. I was on that plane too. It was. And what's, the funny part. what's what's fun about this is that that jacket that you're so desperately looking for, uh, Slime replied to this tweet with a knife holding it at uh, the jacket at gunpoint because he had it. Yeah, I said, hey, "Go up, Aiden. I have it. I have it. This is in my closet. Shit for brains." Why did you that right? Now, why did you call him shit for brains? Yeah, why? I was like, "Shit for brains." Why would I know that you have it? I think it's funny just because it's been in my closet, my jacket closet, for like. A year. So like, it's, and I'm that's like, how long it's been like, lost, to be like, clear. It has it, been lost for over a year. I was like, year. why doesn't Aiden want this back? I do. I do. I didn't know you had wait, it. When did you get it? I don't know. Wait, it, you don't wait. You don't remember getting it, but you expect him to remember giving it to you. This is the only way I can think of. This is the only way I can think of. It's his for jacket. Some, it's not my jacket. For some reason, because the last time I wore this jacket or had this jacket in my possession that I could remember was on that trip. It was when me and Slime went to Streamer Royale. Amaranth streamer royale. That's why we went on the plane because Amaranth like. Did you get cold? We ate gator meat. You get cold. You were did, like Aiden. Give me a fucking jacket. Dude, that's I don't what, know I how I have it. Like it's his happened? jacket. It's not mine. Did he, you like the gator meat? You know what? Yeah, the gator meat was really good. It was really gator gamey. Meat was fine. We actually didn't eat gator meat, but I think uh, the reason why I have it is because he uh he actually someone gave it to me. I'm trying to remember. It was maybe Point Crow. He's like, oh, this is Aiden's jacket. I think he's like, okay, I'll grab it. I, I believe that. Put it in my I house. I believe Aiden lost it. Because that's what I thought. I was like, I probably just lost this jacket on this trip. Because on, admittedly, on this same trip, if you remember, I lost my shoes. That's right. He what, was like what me. What were you doing? One time at BTS, I just left without my shoes on <laughs> and <laughs> I, went home. I had other shoes. It was fun. I had other shoes. But he was like me. He lost his shoes. You it was crazy. Really the realization I had recently, I bought uh, noise-canceling headphones for the first time. And uh, I put them on, and they're crazy. They work. They're, they're noise canceling. And then I was like, "This is how all headphones are for Aiden." Mm. Yeah, like he you are not in the market for noise canceling headphones because they wouldn't do anything differently than what normal headphones do for you. You just don't acknowledge or, or, or hear or the looking, things. Or looking at Slack. Yeah, that's also noise canceling headphones for his brain. Right. Yeah. It does. It's impressive. Yeah, I wish I was like him now because these veil. things were expensive, but they're useful. Do you have to give the jacket back? But I don't have to do anything because no. you've owned it for a year. Like, you know what is he can't common work. law marriage? You know yeah. what's insane is because after about an hour of the post being up and people looking for the jacket, only being able to find like the name of the product or like the Insta post that it was announced in, nobody can find it listed anywhere on like Depop or I looked through like Grailed. I can't find anything. Uh, and then I, as a last minute thing, before I go to bed and before you've replied, I hit up the brand on Instagram. And I was just like, any chance you guys still have these in stock somewhere? I'd love to buy it. Pleading face Let me emoji. Know. 
And the brand hit me back the next morning. Wow. But it was after I opened Twitter. I have a fucking billion notifications from all the people liking Slime's tweets <laughs> in reply you, to me. Man. And you had the jacket for a year. I that is you. insane. I it you, was my it, when, I I, when you, we man. moved. When we moved, I was like, I oh my you, god, you, I fucking I lost the jacket. <laughs> like that's I one of my you. favorite things. I love the way that jacket looks. <laughs> I love the way I found it and I bought right. it. I can't fucking it's been in your closet the whole time. I got prefer on this really good on him and he's had it for a year i think it could be his now i'm, to I'm tony star he's what's up he's and tony i make star. ethical porn he makes ethical, ethical, porn. I make ethical <laughs> porn with organic vegetables <laughs> gmo gmo free porn gmo free porn where everyone gets paid the same i'm designing the porn spread for the apple vision pro when when you guys see my Apple Vision porn, you're gonna you're gonna <laughs> you're be gonna, inside gonna the pussy. Your pants. No, it's different because you can watch porn from the rainforest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> rainforest porn where you're in the pussy. <laughs> Welcome to Apple. Nice to meet you. Also, I'm Kira Tony live Star. from the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> the real one. <laughs> <laughs> An Eiffel Tower she's never been seen in before. <laughs> Well, okay. What do you? What would you do to get this back? Yeah, what are you, gonna you got do? you got me all to yourself. What would you do? To get you this break back? into your house. Break into your house and steal it. That's oh, what I would do right because I know you leave your doors. Yo, unlocked. we should try to devise a plan for him to break into your house and steal. He yeah. has to steal from your house without you knowing. You have to heist it back. You have to yeah. heist it. And if you get caught, then you have to go. And then he goes eight in, and then you have to leave and go. I get, go my, I get my fucking oceans eight. We break in. It's you, a whole you, operation. You and a bunch of women. <laughs> Me and seven women do Ocean's 8. Seven women two. come over and they're like, we want to be your floor wife. And Slime has to pick. And while that's happening, Aiden goes around back. Wow, that's like Final Fantasy VII. That's, I don't think it is. Yeah, Don is Corneo. It? Yeah. What? Just, Cloud, Tifa, and Eris all lined up. He just rotates. He just rotates. It's like it's Final true. Fantasy VII. I don't tell you. It's Final true. Fantasy VII. It's or like it's that. Dark Souls, it's like this. Or it's Metal Gear. It's These just are the three pieces of media. <laughs> yeah. that people that like that, the people that got that, they're like, oh my God. It's and they love me forever. Of, the Triforce of all have. of history is those three video games. Actually, kind of. It's like, it's like seeing any TV show and being like, this is kind of like Friends. You know? Yeah. No. It's because, like, because, 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 because Phoebe and Joey actually had an episode where they kissed. And there's like more than like four characters and they're friends. No, you guys don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> for, for all those out there who enjoy that, who knows that we're the same. I'm your best friend. I think you like being old. Like, I think you like, because like before the pod started, <laughs> well, he like, was, I have pride in my identity. He was like, ski ba da ba la boo la boo And we were like. And he's like, none of you get that. None of you get that song. <laughs> none of you have heard that song. He's acting so like funny. it was a fucking Chuck <laughs> Berry <laughs> joint so, from the 50s. That is such a disingenuous take of what happened. But it's so much no, fun. No, I'm ride with my love. So no, I, can do, I can do it. I can do it to he's them. them. And they can be like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like making violin noises. He's like, none of you know this. This is real art. So annoying. <laughs> and then I'll sing something and be like, Ugh, good Charlotte, kill yourself. And it's like, wow. I remember lining up for tickets to see The Godfather. It's fucking. <laughs> he'll flip a quarter. He fucking appreciated that. He'll flip a quarter. He'll be like, that's a movie right there. <laughs> Back in my day. What was the song? I'm, I'm, I'm just right now. I'm not they even doing it. I'll, 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 I'll let you have it. No, I'll let you have this one. It's like when they flipped the coin in Metal Gear 4. They don't do that. <laughs> it's actually Dark Souls. Oh, sorry. They don't Dark do that. Souls. Yeah, Dark Souls. Done. There's we're coins done. in Dark Souls. Clip. That's the. That's There's what treasure. I'm talking about. Is when I talk, I'm right. <laughs> I'm right. When that's I talk, I'm about. right. That's what you're interested in being these days. Oh my right god. Online. No, it's not. What is happening? You know, what's wrong with you? You know what he what? said? Nothing's wrong with me. You know what he said before this was that uh, another hallmark of him being <laughs> correct in the world is that you and Mr. Beast are haters now. Yeah. Okay, he was explain. like, I'm, this is, because you're replying to people on Twitter about them being wrong, and also Mr. Beast being upset that people are biting his shit and also harassing him relentlessly. He has been hooting. Where he lives. That means yeah. that uh, he's correct all along. All right, go ahead. What's your thesis? Explain in your own words. Well, he just said it uh, pretty much exactly how I would, and I'd like to add that, because we're all theory crafting before you got here. Why is Ludwig replying so much on Twitter about this Twitch and, like, kick shit? And I was like, oh, it's probably because he knows that they're wrong. Like, he knows without a doubt, like, this is objective information, and he can't stand that it's being said incorrectly. And you're just compelled to, like, be like, no, you're wrong, right? Which is what I feel all the time, but you're taking this, like, seriously, I guess. And that's our theory. 
And what I'm saying is like you're just slowly becoming it. Like your your elasticity for shit in which to reply like this will will only get bigger, and you will do this more often with less consequential things. And you'll become engorged. And you'll become a hater and gorged with your big no, old penis. I'm, it's different. Your big nasty glands. I, no. <laughs> Ludwig's nasty gland special. Yeah. On yeah. Apple Twenty Four Hour Pro. Subathon. The thing is, I, I have a small <laughs> appetite for for hating, and yours is is voracious, yours is gluttonous, voracious. You also, you also <laughs> no, it's gluttonous. <laughs> Because you know what it is? It's like, you know how like when you're eating dinner and you're like, you always got room for dessert? That's you for hating. This is your guys' Doesn't matter how much you've eaten, you've always got room for dessert. Yeah, I can, yeah I'll see a menu. You guys, yeah. you guys arguing about words is, is the same thing as us arguing about geography, I realized. Uh, you just tune out. Yeah. No, it happened. No, I don't tune out. It just happens. It just happens like all oh, every We're other just English. We're we two swap. English majors. We'll two argue about Kosovo next week. Yeah, you, you, that's all you know. I like geography. You're capped. I feel vivacious. So, anyway, uh, he's vivacious with big hot lips. For your glands. And for your glands, which is engorged in red. <laughs> okay. Like a, like, okay. It's well, red like a bear. So I, I, I only am applying to things <laughs> like that I penis. feel like I am truly one, uh, like an expert on, which is very few things in this world. That's what I, I'm so right. Yes. The only thing that I feel like I have a, 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 bread, a better grasp on than like 99.99% of people is like streaming. Mm -hmm. That's like it. I've dedicated six years of my life to it. I don't chime in on anything else, even things that I know more than 99% of people, like like a melee conversation. And uh, if I see someone I think is saying something wrong about melee, I'm not going to chime in and be like, no, Zane's better, whatever. Like, I don't, yeah, I, I, I don't know yeah. enough. That and uh, Koopa's seaside soir. soiree. Soiree. That, those are the two things you know. If someone was chirping and they were like, hey, Koopa's seaside soiree is a bad map, or they're like, Mario Party. Four is a bad game because it has bad mini games. I, I would chime in. Yeah, you say I'm a surgeon, and then you bring the whiteboard out and yes. you explain why. The thing is, if you actually say what direction Uki should send you into the memory card port, it has influence. Over is that the one with down. the sad wish and the happy wish? Yeah, Mario Party Four. No, that map. No, no. Yeah, that's this shy. Is, that's shy guys. This is also in f Twitter's fault. Cause I'm forced to see it. I'm forced to fuck. You're just you're just oh. going through the shit I have done already, and you're making all the excuses. I'm a not, hater it's makes. not an excuse. I'm telling you why my behavior has changed. It's not like I'm becoming a hater who's getting more engorged. I'm just scrolling through Twitter, and I get feed. I get fed like everything Twitch related. You don't and follow these people, right? No, no, no. But my the algorithm knows that if it's streaming related, I will look at it and <sighs> click at it and read it. And so I get every streaming thing. And so I I always get f fucking willy. On my damn timeline, chirping about streaming. Who yeah. is I, that guy? I don't know, but I, frankly, I don't think Willie knows enough about streaming for uh, for all the times that he chirps. I did do this. He tweeted something else, and then I said, "Good point, Willie. I agree with you." Yeah, this <laughs> this is something I would never do. This is how I know you're not a seasoned hater. No, I'm not a hater because like you you don't track down the guy you were fighting with to keep talking to him. No, I don't care. Like, but you did that. Huh? You did that. No, no, that popped to my for you again. No, but it doesn't matter if it pops into for you. If you keep replying to him in like a separate isolated thing, it means you're being you've kind of lost because you're 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 outwardly saying I don't care about that. that like you're paying rent, right? I don't care. I know you don't no, care. No, no, no. I think it's the opposite. I think not the opposite, sorry. I think that what he's doing is there's a meta out there's there's him talking to the person and then there's like a meta of it of like what that conversation is doing online. And by engaging with that guy again, he's like participating in that second yeah, thing happening online. The theater online, of it, the sure. theater of it, yeah. And I think that that is fun for him because he's like, oh, it actually be really funny if after that I agree with him. Yeah, I think it, the theater kid in him it actually makes a lot more sense. Mm -hmm, but for mm -hmm. for like a seasonal like generational talent like myself, answer, like, <laughs> like you, you can't you can't Bro, let you're them like have the that. Bill Russell a hating dude. worldwide phenomenon. You're hating against so. janitors. <laughs> 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 I'm out here against blue check marks. All right, they're physical yeah, haters. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, they're physical haters. But all the awards will be named after. Yeah, it. I was to so, tell you they're so cheap though. My jersey is so way, cheap. Yeah, you can see it. Look, it's it's, it's my jersey. It's a guy he'll with a horse have, He'll always have the most championships. When he, when he goes, we're gonna unretire that number. <laughs> ah, I'm generational. So uh, so that's it. That's why I, I replied. But I was right. Stuff. It's only because he feels like he knows the right answer. Once again. Um, this rules because I feel the same way you feel about this about like being funny or something right I see it as objective and like ah and so I'll get mad the same yeah. way you see being a hater as objective no I'm saying like he's he's engaging in this kind of discourse because he believes in that he's completely right because he has a better perspective yeah I have the same idea in my head even if it's like flawed or wrong right but that's where that comes from I think 
Kick should let you stream full length <laughs> movies on their platform. And I, I, and I actually mean that. You're like the Norman Why? Rockwell standing up what? guy. That's a terrible idea. No, because that's fr it's freedom of information. <laughs> yeah. You don't believe Foyle this. FOIA requesting <laughs> yeah, The Dark Knight <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from don't Netflix. Believe this. Yeah, if a movie made a certain amount at, a, at the box office, if a movie it's made public domain. If a movie made more than $900 million at the box office, then you should be able to stream it on Kick No Fee. This is such a dumb <laughs> argument. I agree. It should be the opposite, if anything. No, no, no. no if it no. made like no money at the box no, office. No, because it's not like to, you, Christopher Nolan. You think he's struggling right now? Well, no, Put it's not about who's struggling. I mean, like you know, what's struggling is hairline. It's like a trickle down system. It's like it gets too much, and then all the people get the information for free. You're saying mm -hmm. it's made so much that it's like stop making any. Yes. I, I'm yeah. saying like if it, if it made zero. It's like, hey, show people this movie because nobody saw it. Like when mall rats. Uh, yeah, but they deserve to be paid. What's you know, mall rats? Nothing, nothing, nothing. What's mall rats? I've never heard of this. Film. I, I, now I'm shamed <laughs> into saying stuff that was just no, 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 didn't no, no. happen. I'm it's like little rascals. It's kind of like, it, it's like Final Fantasy VII. Is it's, it like Kevin, like James mall rats? Like, is it? When Mallrats came Mall, out, it only it made like six hundred thousand dollars in one <laughs> night. <laughs> what did he say? Was that genuine? Did you say Kevin James? Yeah. Yeah. Did it's a different guy. It's a different guy named Kevin. It doesn't matter. Wait, you don't mall care. Because he said, he said, "Do you mean mall cop?" That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> that was just one perfect thing happening with what you're doing. Yeah, so it's like that. Cool. I get what you're saying. I like mall cop. Oh my god, <laughs> I hated that movie. They filmed that a movie. Uh, uh, it's not my fault. You just grew up. Oh, I say, wait, Paul Boyer have one. Paul Boyer has one. What? Segway. Paul Boyer. Paul Boyer. Oh god, I could we not all get understand segways? what you said. Dead. Uh, you know Reggie Bush, after running a thousand yards for the Miami Dolphins, got everyone in the line, the, all of his defensive linemen uh, or offensive linemen, a segue. Wait, he did that before Nintendo? That's crazy. <laughs> what? It, what? <laughs> for a moment, I was I did believe in what I said. Yeah. But then I realized, and I just kind of oh, went with it. Oh. I genuinely thought it was the same guy for a second. No. <laughs> wow. I don't know who Reggie Bush Incredible. is. He's like the goat oh, college. Boomer. Boomer. Pussy. Boomer. <laughs> <laughs> You're on edge today. He's the goat no, I got, I college got, football okay, player. I got my back put up against the wall too early, so. I'm, Yo, pause. I'm good. <laughs> I, hate I think that. this makes for good. This I makes for good TV. Meme, but I hate saying anything slightly, and it's like, yo, pause, a hey, yo, oh. <laughs> I love pause, dude. <laughs> I love pause. I like battle rap. Yeah, it's, it's battle rap shit. Yeah. Hold up, slow it down. Yeah, I just then they say you. something cool after what? In battle rap, don't they say something cool? No, usually they say pause if if the rhyme you made is slightly gay sounding. Oh, okay. Wow. So, that where, on, so that's where that comes from. Yeah, it'll, it'll be like. I was going deep with my homies, and they're like, pause. <laughs> like, like, pause what you're saying. Hold Let's on. examine that. And then they have a council. That? Was that because, gay? Because battle rap is very homophobic. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, that was gay shit. <laughs> oh, you're going to have to go. Flag on the play. It's like, you can, you can say, like, the hardest verse ever, but if you get hit with pause, it's like, a, oh, everyone's laughing at you now. It just completely flips it. Wow. It's pretty funny. It's too free. Yeah. And, then, uh, and then it leaked into, like, red pill culture. So it's like, now it's like, <laughs> now you can say it ironically. Which that was that's, what it, that's what it feels, feels like. Full circle. That is what it feels like. You know what I learned today? Um, Aiden is the key. Key to what? He's the key. Fucking, uh, he's, what? Aiden's the key. And here, <laughs> key, key to what? You remember, remember a few episodes? <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yeah. As I expand here. Uh, you know, a few episodes ago, I was like, I went to a coffee shop that Aiden frequents. Yeah. And uh, and they just were so they were icing me out in my banter. They laughed you out the store. I was just like, damn, what's going on? That's fucked up. I'm just being myself. And they just iced me out. So today I go in with Aiden and uh, well, Aiden goes in separately from me. We happen to be here at the same time. And Aiden goes in first. I go in second, like the secret mission. Like we don't know each other. And uh, he orders. And then me and Aiden start talking. And I'm asking him how his trip was. And the guy who iced me out, he sees me hanging out with Aiden. And he goes, wait, you guys know each other? <laughs> Yo, you know Aiden? He goes, wait, you guys know each other? And I'm like, yeah. And Aiden's like, yeah, yeah, we, we work together. And beep, 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 beep. And then the guy comes up. He literally, I'm not kidding. He comes up. He goes, he pauses. He computes all that. He goes, Phew. and he daps me up. He gives me that a, is crazy. he daps me up like I have value now. And I'm, like, and, and I'm like, that is crazy. And it wasn't just a dap. It was a hug. It was a hug. Yeah. Dap. Like, he, like he brings me in. He goes, yeah. this is Spideyverse shit, which is really funny. And then he walked away. And I looked over at Aiden and I'm like, you're the key. He's, he's the key. He's I, just have, I have to follow him around and, and people will like me. Dude, imagine he's like, yo, what's up, Loke? And this, then, and it was like and that. And he fucking, he and knew your like, name. Spin the block. Like, we'll be all right. Aiden is, Aiden's like Vin Diesel. 
<laughs> He's the Vin Diesel of our group. Aiden, do you run a street gang? <laughs> do, I, do I have cred in Los Angeles, Angeles now? Shrugged. Dude, this is crazy. This is that's so funny that he, like because yo, is that Aiden? Is like usually what you would hear at a Smash tournament, and that's beautiful. Dude, it, wasn't <laughs> even, it wasn't even just this guy. Every barista there was chatting me up because I was next to him. Yeah, dude, you're like a star. They're like, yeah, you come in here a lot. We recognize He's you. And just I'm like a personable sweetheart. What is it? Parks and Rec, where uh, Ron Swanson like at night he moonlights as like a jazz musician. Yeah, <laughs> that, this is this is that. <laughs> this is <laughs> that's how i imagine dawson and his band yeah <laughs> when dawson does stuff that isn't talking to us and it's just like whoa yeah. i dude they i went to uh i went to vancouver this weekend uh with the couve huh? with my girlfriend <laughs> the couve dude uh, is that a thing no oh. they call that? the only people people say van are like van city and then the only people I've ever heard call it the Coup Re is Greek life students at UW. Yo. And I'm like, oh. Is that, is that why Ryan Reynolds is Van City Reynolds? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I was like, what's Van um, City? I thought you like oh. soccer or something. It was a joke. I never thought of that. No, he just says equity in the shoes. I, I was walking around with uh, Zipper 3. For, we walked all day through Vancouver, like 10 miles. Did you see anyone smoking crack? Real question. Uh, in Vancouver, no. <laughs> in Seattle, yes. Yeah. A lot. I, yeah. Mm. That was uh, the first time I've ever seen someone actually smoke crack was in Vancouver, like in real life with my eyes. Yeah, we saw a lot of people light up in Seattle. Tight. Uh, but I got a message after we got back to the car. We're driving back to my parents' house, and Elliot, the weapon, mm -hmm. sends me a message on Discord he says, yo, Aiden, the streets told me you were in my city. You going to check in? <laughs> I have told zero people that I'm in Vancouver. Literally zero. Oh, my and God. Then, and then I said, how the fuck do you know? We just came up for the day. And then Elliot, who is, <laughs> says, says, keep in mind, I've known Elliot since he was 10 years old. And he's like, and, what, 18 now? And he's 18 now. Yeah, he, he, says, grown for years. he says, damn, <laughs> pussy. We could have chilled, man. I'm turning 19 next week. We could have got Liddy. Okay. And then, and then, <laughs> and then waits like 10 minutes and then says, I have run this city, bro. Look out. And then, let, and then, let me, yeah, sorry. And then man. says, I have hitters. Yeah. So, so, Elliot, context for those who don't know him, Aiden's known him for a long time. He's, played, he's really good at Smash. He's played Melee. He is an 18 year old. Jewish kid from Vancouver who has watched The Wire like five times through. What the fuck? <laughs> and, and this so is good. why also, he's like this. Also, for context, I, I, I know this. I've known I've known Elliot. Uh, I've known Elliot since he was ten because at his first tournament, I went to a tournament when I was sixteen, uh, and he went to his first tournament when he was like ten with his mom. And this <laughs> happened a few times after, but basically, his mom would ask me to watch him for the day so she didn't have to stay at the smash tournament um because i have a little brother that's like the same age as elliot um so it's just i dude i it was yeah. insane because i told nobody i was there it is kind of fucked up not to check in right you, you gotta, you gotta like, check in at the front you desk you just bro. gotta check in i gotta pay respects you gotta pay respects yeah like if you if you go to phoenix arizona you're not gonna be like yo ben what up you're not gonna pay respects I, ca I guess I gotta pay respect. Yeah, you gotta play one round of beer, yo, if you're trying to... <laughs> you're in New Hampshire, you're not gonna pay respects to my ma? It just feels so... I just... I really wanna know how the <laughs> fuck he knew I was there. He'll know next time, too, so pay respects. <laughs> on, I'm sending something to Zipper. He can pull it up. This is the one of the last things Elliot said to me on Discord. He's very... It's just... He's just watched The Wire a lot. It's... it's he's gotta <laughs> stop re-watching The Wire. <laughs> and there's I, a kid at my school who uh, would... <laughs> Finish and rewatch. Oh, oh, oh. This is what Elliot is one of the last things he sent to me. <laughs> so this is what you're gonna look like in a year. And I think that's is that Terry Bradshaw? No, I don't even that's know. A full, this is a, some basketball player who's in the Hall of Fame. I Wait, is that George Carl? I I don't think the Nuggets so. coach Orville Riddenbach. Either yeah. way, it's an extremely old, ugly white man <laughs> who's bald. He's not ugly. He's he's been forged he's in the in the fire of. Of just hanging out on the internet and Discord with too many Smashers older than him, I think he's just like, and he's learned that he can get away with so much because he's a younger person. He's really funny. He's yeah. got a bright future ahead. It of him. disappears fast. What the youth being younger? Mm -hmm. He's about to start being the old guy in the room. Disappears every year. Mm -hmm. Aiden, you know, I, I was thinking of earlier. I was like, I that's why he likes sunsets so much. Me? Yeah. Why? 
Uh, yeah, it is George, George Carl. Carl. Yeah. What a call. The Nuggets. That's um, all. I only know Colorado teams. Holy shit. I can't believe he was right. That was It's crazy he knew that, but he couldn't tell you messy. You don't know the yeah, message. I know. Right? Dude, like, I wanted to, I wanted to bring this up because you were arguing about it with Tarek on your stream. What? You were talking about who the most famous person alive is. Yeah. And it went on for so long. And I was like, get me, get me fucking in there. Is it Riff Raff? Yeah. And, no, it's, probably, it's, and it's probably Riff Raff. It's, he's actually second. <laughs> no, to who? <laughs> Little Debbie? God. <laughs> <laughs> the Vina. Uh, who's that kid? It's Drake, right? No. Wait, no. what kid? The kid, some rizzed up. No, Baby Gronk? Yeah, that's it, Baby Gronk. Yeah. Baby Gronk. I couldn't and think Livy. of Baby Gronk. And Livy together. Our podcast kind of skipped Baby Gronk. I don't yeah, know. We as, didn't, as we a didn't have an episode. I, I yeah. watched like In all between. four of that dude's Baby Gronk's TikToks and almost had a fucking aneurysm. Yeah. I, I, the cadence... I, I love it. That's like a new wave cadence that is in so many shorts now. And if I feel if like Ludwig came up in the same time as that guy, that's what Ludwig would have done. Sound like that. Yeah. What? I don't know what you guys are talking about. Because like back genuinely. in the day, you were making like YouTube videos and like top 10 salty ice climber moments and like, this is how you do this. And, like remember the, the one. This is how hacks rizzed up Nintendo <laughs> on the set. <laughs> never made that. I've never made and that. So, like, you if I did, that would be revolutionary. It takes four if I made stocks rizzed faster up, than any Fox player has taken ever. <laughs> this is so 20XX. I, if I said rizzed up 10 years ago, I should get a fucking medal. <laughs> you should, yeah. You should be put in a, in a museum. I should be put in a pyramid. <laughs> No ziggurat. Those are the new. Those is are the new. Is that your new? That's the honest. I like saying buried pyramids in a pyramid. Pyramids are too mainstream. <laughs> Already? Yeah. You were saying it last week. I know. But I want to be buried in a ziggurat. What? Is, can you show? <laughs> is it, is it, can you look up a ziggurat? It's a. It's a pyramid with stairs. Let basically. me tell you about the wedding ziggurat. Oh, like <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what, from Warcraft Three. Yeah. That's, me and Zipper know about those from Dota. Whoa. Yeah, they're cool. Are those, like, Barry? Is Dude, this, you like, can get up there so much quicker. Yeah, it's so much easier to get up there, <laughs> This yeah. reminds me of Is this. it, like, Mesoamerica? It's Mesoamerica, and, and also... I know Wait, that one. I know yeah. that one. these are the things that are in Mario 64. That's a, uh, it's, yes. it's the Mario Kart 64 battle map. Oh, Wait, you guys are making fun of me. No, I'm saying no, I'm saying Super Mario 64. I'm talking about you know there's the I one battle map in Mario Kart 64 where it's the four it's squares the four, and yeah, levels. Yeah, yeah. It, it was so and you always wanted to be on the top because it felt cool, but yeah. it was like strategically it, bad. Yeah. 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 See, I can relate to people. Maybe that's why I have a fucking podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You're so insecure today. <laughs> oh my god. It's all from the hair. It's your right. You shouldn't be insecure. You I'm shouldn't. not insure. Yeah, this one look like look. You yeah, should. That was You're my plat, favorite. You're plat 3, baby. Yeah, I'm nuts. I'm I, fucking di electric fied. Did, did you guys did you guys do this? Do what? I didn't have any I didn't have friends. I didn't. I when I had a Nintendo sixty four and a GameCube, I didn't have. I'll any stop. Friends. I'll stop you there. I had friends. So. I didn't have <laughs> any friends. I'm not gonna relate to. I didn't you. have You're any friends. Out, yeah. Put in your head to play video games with I'm on so weekends. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, to, I can make it through. Because I was only allowed to play video games on weekends. <laughs> yeah, you didn't have, I didn't any, have friends. any friends. What'd you do? Speak up. What? And I played four player Mario Kart battle <laughs> mode by myself and I took off the CPUs, right? The CPUs. I control I took turns controlling all four. Oh my god. god. I wanted there to be enough balloons for his birthday party. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, well, if all four cares point that there's like three balloons on each car, it's like it's my birthday. All my friends are here. It's tw twelve balloons, dude. <laughs> so wow. when I was no, like, I never. When I was five years old, I, I, when I was five years old, I didn't have friends you're to invite me, over. You, no, you're making yourself younger. You I moved that. all over the place. No, I was four that. years old. You don't understand. When I was three, I did this. Yeah, I was a Boy. baby. <laughs> I grabbed over, friends. Drives over, pops one of the balloons, and he switches seats. He's like, oh man, you really got me. <laughs> Thank God we're good friends, though. Do you know, what? and I did the exact same thing. So when I was uh, when it's uh, also also the same age. Also five, not five, six, that that sort of age. Oh, five, six, I had a no. bunch of I had a bunch of like Hot Wheels cars and little <laughs> plastic cars, and I would do these like massive race courses through the house. And I would control each of them individually and do a whole race through the room. I think I told you about this one. Yeah, I was telling yeah. you, I used to do like did car tournaments. This is why yeah. have no, this and I had to do brackets. And I had to do the like same dealing. with Mario Kart battle mode. Dude, he doesn't have empathy because all of his friends when he was with his kids were just himself. Like projections of himself, so he only knows what he wants because all no, his friends were but him. Should be they were all I, like this, I like this theory, but I it's good. I'm a real only child, and <laughs> I grew up alone for real, Aiden. Yeah, and I didn't do any of this shit. 
So I yeah, don't know what I to was, tell you. I was so much older than my brothers that it did. I I had the same thing. He felt alone. She felt alone. But no, I, I didn't was say alone. I felt, felt alone. I just well, couldn't play games. Really, you didn't feel alone, but you're playing Mario Kart by yourself. I think the problem is you just weren't allowed to watch like The Simpsons. Like yeah. that would have cured everything. Yeah, and I, I wasn't well, allowed to play Metal Gear or Final Fantasy Aiden, VII. I'll, uh, right? I'll get vulnerable because you yeah. got vulnerable, and I laughed at you. Yeah, like a you hyena. Did, you did do that. I used to play tennis. Yeah. On my roof. And I would pretend I was other people hitting it back and I made up imaginary people, but I, it wasn't just me. I would play with my imaginary friends who were Mario characters. I, I did this. I did this. I would be like, okay, I'm Waluigi now. I'm yeah. Mario now. And I do like a little tennis tournament in my head with the characters. So like, not relating because this is a story with my friends, uh, but <laughs> I, me and my friends invented a, a game uh, that didn't have Ooh. a name. We were going to say, you guys want to play the game? And, uh, and you would, maybe I've said this before actually, but you would just become, uh, you would pick what superhero or what character in the world that you are and all the powers that you had. And the, anyone else could just say any superhero they were. And it was like a, there was no rules. So I could be like, well, I'm invincible now. And then they would be like, well, I have this, I am Sonic and Sonic's too fast. So it doesn't matter if you're invincible, come faster than you. And you would do this infinitely until they had a Is better, this just a verbal game. They had a better, like you would, well, you'd actually run around and play and say you were winning oh, okay, okay and it was everyone was just saying they were winning the whole time that was the game this is like when kids are like saying the biggest number yeah and they're like it's well, a, it's, four billion. it's a mil it's infinity times two yes yeah. it's infinity times three. when when i was older when i was a nine and ten me and my friends would play we're, we're on a club soccer team together and we would play soccer tournaments in his backyard where we would play the world cup and we would list out a bracket with all the countries on it. And then we would play soccer over and over and over again for like an entire afternoon. But we were like each of the countries. You're but then the we World were Cup? also Mario characters. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like Serbian so Bowser. I'm, I'm like a <laughs> Luigi playing for Australia. <laughs> I'm Luigi from Iran. <laughs> <laughs> and we got nuclear weapons. Dude, you know what's so funny about Aiden? Is I was trying to formulate this into a tweet. But it, the, the most... It was so drunk, Aiden, that when we were in the car, when he came home from wine about it, he was he instantly started quizzing himself on which nations had nuclear capabilities. And he's like, it's fucking all right. It's Iran. Oh, true, 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 true. I did do that. Oh, it's Iran. <laughs> uh, no, wait. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's France, UK, uh, US, Russia, India, Pakistan, China, North Korea. Yeah. I think it, that's the eight. The right? problem was that he named seven and he was mad that he couldn't remember one. Wow. That's so and I'm just driving and I'm like, I don't know, man. That, I don't know which one it could be. That's still pretty close to the end of the world um, list of countries. You guys have seen end of the world, yeah, right? Yeah. Which like, makes sense. It lists all, China, France, India, Israel, Pakistan, Russia, the UK, and us. What is end of the world? With nukes. You've never seen Wait, does Israel end of the world? Oh, wow. Fucking who's no, a I'm the boomer now? No, I'm I the haven't boomer. seen it. Zipper, can you look up which countries have nuclear powers? Let's test Aiden. I think I got it right. But, didn't but I? that was I don't him. Know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just checking. That was him as like the drunkest he's been in four years. Was that was what Aiden likes to talk about? Mm -hmm. It was very fun. And we were we were hanging on the car. And then when I dropped him off, he's like, "Okay, man, I see you later, man. I see you later." And he hugs me. He's like, you "Changed my life, man. You changed my life." <laughs> I'm like, all wow. right, fine. <laughs> Time all to right. go to sleep. Well, we don't need your life. Right, I also. <laughs> uh, I think he Israel. got it. We forgot about Israel. Oh. But in the car, you Wait, remembered Israel. Mine is exactly One, that. Two, well, three, end of the world is exactly five, this. Minus six, North Korea. Seven, eight. Oh, is nine. So I just missed. I missed Israel. In in the car, you remembered Israel. <laughs> Aiden, you want to tell the people at home something what embarrassing would I tell about them? yourself? What would I tell them? Uh, you... How much is your gym membership that you're paying for? Not that much. How much is it, <laughs> Nick? It's a thousand dollars for the year. Wow! wow! He is paying that, and guess what? He's never gone because he didn't know he was paying for it because he doesn't have Rocket Money, the personal finance app that cancels your unwanted subscriptions and monitors your spending and helps lower your bills. And as someone who does have Rocket Money, I was like, I'm not like Aiden. I'm nothing like Aiden. I don't make stupid decisions. You and also I, have a body that won't quit. And I, I have a body that won't quit. And I looked up in the app and I was like, Holy, I actually have 20. Yeah. I, like tw I was like in Vato Elements. I did Mo that. I did that when I was like, like seventeen. Well, I'm paying for that. It's like quick. it's like motion graphics. I didn't even know I was paying oh. for it. Yeah, he just has he has different. He he's better at motion graphics now. Most Americans think they spend around eighty dollars <laughs> a month on subscriptions. The actual total is closer to two hundred. I'm gonna go. Aiden I'm is gonna an go. Outlier. Go. I will go. Like Spiders yes, New York. You're you find a subscription go. you don't want. You press cancel. Rock money cancels it for you because you know how hard it's going to gym sometimes. I don't need to cancel it. I don't need to cancel it because I'm gonna go. You aren't gonna go. That's why you should get the app. Hey. You've already quit, so how about you click the button to quit and mm. save yourself some money? 
And you can do that by going to rocketmoney.com slash the yard. Stop throwing your money away. Cancel on one subscriptions and manage your expenses in the easy way. Away. Go to rocketmoney.com slash Aiden. Stop talking. Rocketmoney.com slash the yard, Aiden. You, you can use, use our said. code. Did Stop you know that? You can use our code. Use it. Yeah. We have a show and you can use the code. You can make your life better instead of being so goddamn annoying. Use the code. The hey, money hey, comes to hey. us. Now give the jacket back to slime. Give the jacket back give to slime. Give the jacket back. Pop it back on. Give the jacket jack to slime. No, no, no. Snap your fingers. slime. Snap your fingers. Jack slime right now. Snap your fingers. Snap your fingers. Snap. Dubbin. I'm not going to stoke on Trent. It's not there anymore. It's not in stoke. Maybe you should. Uh, that, no, that wasn't your reason. I'm, Let's be real. That, uh, I'm here. going. <laughs> can, I, can, I get, can I get real with you? Yeah. It's near Brighton. Yeah. And so you could go hang out with all the UK tubers. Yeah. Tommy in it. Yeah, Tommy what, in it. Where, all the did Tommy in it fell off? Uh, no, he's doing fine. Did he fell off? He's, he fell off no, a little bit. Did he fall off? He didn't even fall off Come a little bit. Come to think of it, he did fall off a little bit. <laughs> did he fell off? He's doing fine. He's doing great. But he's doing fine. Is his name a sexual entendre? No, it's just Tommy, and then in it is a British thing. Got it. You Good. know that. You know that's a British. You thing. just know that. You, you know that. You like. You like. You like that. I do not know anything. <laughs> if you look at the mathematical possibilities at any given time, you see that the mathematics is, is correct every world? time. No, it's not. It might and almost, but <laughs> this is the <laughs> end of Z world. How uh, do you not know end of Z world? Did, this is crazy. Did you guys know you can um you can buy royalties? Like you can trade royalties of songs, like assets. I found this out because I was on the I was on the the biz forum. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say the web. The biz forum, I'm like, dead like, like say the web. I was on Fortune Biz because I like to see what they all freak out about. <laughs> and um, it was what's it called? It's called Royalty Exchange. It's not an ad or anything. It's probably cringe. But someone was like, "Yeah, I bought some Nelly songs. Are these like?" Do you think I'll get some exchange? <laughs> yeah. Like, do you think we'll get returns back on this? And it was so funny. Like you could just trade like Jaw Rule tracks. Do you get paid yeah. like? Do you get paid dividends from use of the song? Maybe I haven't looked into it at all, but it's like there's like an NFT section and all this shit, and it's just really funny because I'm like, that's so interesting. It's basically making a song go public. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get a, I get a five dollar kickback whenever the Russian USSR anthem is played. Yeah, <laughs> in like a documentary when the Air Force theme plays. <laughs> when the Air Force theme plays and all the kids have to sing it, I'm getting fucking paid, bitch. Every time the USSR wins in Call of Duty Four, I get like three cents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that. What if What if you did that with your cover? Uh, I your think Christmas that'd be covers? illegal. Why? Because it's a cover. But you're monetizing it. No, you're not making money on Spotify. Spotify's making money. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to check if no, I'm making he money is, on Spotify. You do make money on Spotify, right? Dude, I don't what know if you're if just sitting on a milli? Because you, you know. Yes, that's not a, a million. million dollars. One million dollars for you. Not, I don't Probably even a have, million. I barely you have a million Drake, listens. You and Drake, most famous people in the world. That's not... He, first of all, the most famous person is definitely Donald Trump. It's... Yeah. What about Obama? I think Donald Trump's more famous. Probably Trump. No. Or, I think Donald Trump's definitely more famous is than it Obama. Just, isn't it just the most recent president is more famous than? I've not always, because I think the Pope is in contention. Pope and could Pope's be. not in contention. Why? I thought this was dumb because you guys couldn't even name who the Pope was. Yeah, but it's like, like the Pope isn't like, famous. That, that's like that's, that's like saying point. no, that's no, like, no, no. But it, it's the Pope. But you can't name the guy. Like it, the idea. Does, he, does the name matter? The idea no, of the most doesn't. famous. No, the matter. idea of the most famous no, person no, 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 is that no. you could so, see that you see the person and you're like, I recognize. If I show a picture of the Pope and someone goes, "That's the Pope," they're right. But only with the clothes on. That's like saying. Oh, the, that's like saying. Yeah, if, I don't have pictures if of the answer naked. was fifty cent, you'd have to know his real name too. No, no, no. Oh. I, no, I think no, Whoa. no, 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 no. Hey, I think I think the you Pope guys, is essentially fifty cent. I think you guys are being dumb because this is like saying, "Oh, the president of the United States." I think a lot of people would look at Donald the Trump. Last, and would say okay, the here's a better example. Talking about isn't Trump. the last pope the last pope resigned and is still alive, right? Or died like really recently? So it's like because the last dude is still alive. If you saw that guy, it's like you don't. You if would, he, the pope wasn't wearing the big stupid hat and he was dressed in like a band T-shirt. You would not know who that is. Saying the pope is no, like saying the president. But of I the also US. like I wouldn't recognize like like a teacher outside of class. You know. Yes, that's you would. Because it would no. be so that's boring. Just, that's, you're a fucking moron. <laughs> I think it, chat. Why are you trying to YouTube, connect with YouTube, eleven year olds? YouTube vote in chat. Yeah, I do. You, yeah, I think that the for the argument to stand, you have to be able to know you're looking at the pope when you're looking at the pope. Yeah. And I think you would know if you saw a picture of the Pope that that's the Pope. But but, but I he, think so he needs the big hat. What, so what, what Aiden would argue here is you could take another old guy and put him in the Pope outfit, and everyone would still think that's the Pope because they don't know what he looks like. This feels like a weird yes. argument because you could put a Donald Trump impersonator and then go to like Nepal oh. and then be like, "Is this who's this?" And they'd be like Donald Trump. And you'd be like, "Fucking idiot!" 
You actually are a fucking dumbass. I think the idea uh, is <laughs> Donald Trump's a little bit more rude. If you human showed a picture, if you show a, a picture of Pope Pope Francis to a bunch of people, a bunch of people could probably say Pope. If you showed a picture of Donald Trump to people when he was in when he was the president, a lot of people would be able to say Trump Yo, and so not what, just the what if, president. Hold on, what if we put Trump in the Pope costume? Do, do they say it's Trump or do they say it's the Pope? That's Trump, just the most famous Trump. person in the world. Would you count? If you show them a picture of Donald Trump and they said Trump as the answer? Wait, yeah, of course. Well, if they just said the president, would you count it? Uh, the president of the United States? Sure. Like, I, I, Do you count I don't that? know if I would count that. Yeah, he made a good point, idea, but he got interrupted. The stipulation he, made the good, is, he made the point he already needed to make earlier. The, no the stipulation is that you know the person's name or I would say what they were notably called. Like, if you don't know fucking uh, like 50 cents, like full name, I don't think that counts. It's I blood think, on like, the sand. What their, what their like pen name is. But you, not just like with their role or the like job. Name is the Pope. He's just the Pope. The other, the other point yeah, is a lot stronger. I don't think he's the other Pope, a lot stronger. Pope, the Pope as a role. Pope as a role in society. That's not the, po oh, that's the actor that fucking that played the it. Other right? Looks hard as fuck though. Yeah, like most hard. people don't. I, a ton of people don't know that it's Pope Francis. They just know of the figure that might be loosely identifiable as the Pope. All right, vote in chat because I think I think me and Nick are right because I think they call him the Pope. I think they call him like El Papal. Yeah, but you're you're born. Papa. Maybe it's the Dalai Lama. Like, it's like I, you're born which is also to kiss children. No. not his name. Yeah, that's Don like a label, <laughs> right? No. Right? Isn't it? No. Is, he, is he Dalai Lama something? No, no. Dalai Lama is just the name of his his title. So what his name is like Rick? Yeah. I don't think he's in the running. <laughs> it's anyway. Rick James. He's not, but like, but in your, in your but world, if, Dalai Lama. This is, I'm back on Lovingstead because if, if you ask, like, if you were able, if you were able to ask every I'm single person in the world and say, do you know, do you know who the Dalai Lama is? And they say yes, right? That should count towards a point in the Dalai Lama's field of fame. Yeah, but in Aiden's world, unless they know it's Lamo, yes, then yes. we or, don't know who the Dalai Lama is. I, I actually don't even think in that world it matters if you could recognize the Dalai Lama on the street. If you just know who that is because you've like heard of it and you've been in the world, that should count. Uh, I think no. we're going for most famous That's part person of their fame. That most that, people recognize in the world. I think the idea the is that you could like you'd you'd recognize the person in like if the person was re wearing regular clothes, you would like recognize the no, recognize the person sitting it. down at like the a coffee shop. Our, and you know their name. And our you discussion was who is the most famous person in the world. Like who, if you showed, like if you could get a, yeah, everyone's part, brain catalog. I think part of knowing a person is knowing their knowing their name. What if I said? And not what just if I said, what, is, what is the most? Uh, what is the most famous artists in the world musically? But you couldn't tell any of the members of Queen on the street. Like if you saw them on the street, you wouldn't know they were you Queen. You couldn't tell. You couldn't see Freddie Mercury's fucked up teeth. And you wouldn't know because you didn't know how he's fucked up I teeth. Don't, I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think... I, I see the point you're making, but I think that whatever that band... Whatever the band is, it's either probably the lead, the lead singer, or they're probably not in contention. Like realistically, the most famous music artist in the world is a solo artist. I could not tell you what JD Salinger looks like. Wait, it's not about contention. It's just the principle of like defining what counts for fame. I think I think, I think the street clothes thing is no, dumb. Like, I think the Beatles think is like one no of the most famous bands ever. Yeah. I think a lot of people know I think there's there are a lot of people who like know the Beatles but don't know the titles like of Beatles Paul, songs. But don't know who Paul McCartney is. Or maybe maybe like, don't know Ringo Starr. There's a there's a there's a comparison you can make here is like the Pope is just this like this ethereal figure, much like God, and not not with even relating to religion or anything. But like he is a figure that we just know about because we're told about him. But the Pope's yeah. like you know, we don't. But who really the, pope the Pope is is a question that a lot of people can't answer. Yeah, but like, that, I think, that is a very specific thing to the Pope. But and also like monarchs, like the Queen. I guess I don't know. She, this is kind of weird. Hers would be a little less weird because she's her her name is like in the title, yeah, it's so Queen's a lot of people would dead be able to Elizabeth. Name her. I think it's. I think it's. I. But that's why I think it's Trump. It's like you don't. It's not just like oh the U.S. president. It's like you recognize. He was the president. I think you, you have a big American lens here. You have to understand too, because I know, think a lot of no, people. I, that's why you're, that's, you're taking I, is Pope Fowler. I think you're saying, "Oh, it's the Pope," obviously, because I'm a fucking Euro trash. I don't. <laughs> and it's like no, no, it's, no, no, no. I'm saying I thought it was Trump. I started this by saying it's Trump, but I think the Pope's in contention. And then Aiden is saying the Pope and the Dalai Lama apparently would be less famous than me. That's so no, funny. No, that's not what I said. Dude, you yeah, you're you're basically Lama. saying the Dalai Lama, unless you know his name, his, and you could recognize the him position in street clothes, or doesn't figure count. is like. Uh, is more recognizable than you, but him as like an individual is not. Like I think a lot of people will once once like there's a new Dalai Lama is like 
If you show if you show a guy dressed in similar garb of a similar age and then ask like people, do you know who this is? A lot of people will just say the Dalai Lama. Yeah, but that's silly because I, I don't no think cared who he was till he put on the to Pope hat. The costume. <laughs> and the same thing with Pope. But here's who I think uh, the the answer to the question it's I think funny is because either... actually if Batman was real, Aiden would be like. Batman's not the most famous person because we don't know who Batman is. Oh, and yeah, anybody yeah. could don the mask and they would be considered I, Batman. I think there's a value there's, in that. There's actually, there's actually truth in that. There's actually truth in that. Because a, a new guy could become Batman. I, I, have I have a question. Marshmallow so, does this so all the time. If you met someone and you said, uh, have you heard of the streamer Ludwig? And they said, yes. What, why would, what would the reason be that they've heard of Ludwig beside the fact that he's famous? Like, why would someone... Maybe they don't know his, like, his real name... They don't know what he does for streaming, but they've heard of him. Yeah. Is that not because he's famous? Yeah. So yeah, shouldn't, that be, shouldn't that be part of the metric we're measuring in like, is someone the most famous? Like you've heard of them. Get him. <laughs> what? Get Shut him. the fuck up, him. Get him. Let him. Let him cook. Like, get him. Get him. You don't like, need, if, you don't if, need I, if I've heard he of he someone, he yeah. it's because they're famous. <laughs> don't stop. Don't stop. Sure. Sister. So, so if I've heard of the but Pope, where is the line that's part between, of his fame. Where is the line Mother. between like person, a person and like job, I guess? That's that's what I'm thinking. Like, what is the person job? This is ultimately because, I, uh, by the way, and you said American lens. That's so fucked. Because I don't know if you read my DM to you, but my first answer before you guys had even talked about it was Ronaldo. But it's yeah, definitely you also, also Pope. Absolutely, you also Ronaldo. said Andrew Tate and Matt Walsh. I thought oh, that was my fucked. Fuck up. For the line, I didn't say for that. the line it's, between which his I was job, like, that's weird. For the line between his job thing, the Pope is not famous for who he is. He's famous for his job. Like. Yeah, but he, he's, he, the Pope is the position that is famous. Francis is the Francis as a person, like Pope Francis. Pope Francis less famous than just Pope. But Donald Trump, not the president, substantially less famous than Donald no, Trump as no, the president. That's what I. That's what I disagree. Is what? like he's become yeah. tr Trump. Trump is more recognizable as a figure who is like exceeding the position. No, I'm saying that his job, per, this current job, or his. His position was job. what helped elevate him. So, but now Trump, Trump is like as or more famous than than he ever was, right? right? Whereas like Francis will become less recognizable after he is no longer the Pope. So, like for example, it doesn't count if like an actor is only known by their role because like, they're, they're just known as their name. Who's right? the most famous person? Oh, it's Woody. Well, that's what? the character. No, sorry. He's trying to. Oh, I'm trying wonk. to make an analogy. Yeah, I but get, I, I, I get I it. Fucked it all up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Toy Story. <laughs> I just fucked it up. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> Ultimately, this is this is the postmodern <laughs> debate of the abstraction of the self. This is this is very classic. Everyone's done this before, and no one's come to a good answer. And everyone's gonna scream forever. Well, this is how a podcast, man. Don't talk but, about philosophy. No, but what, I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, you guys are just you're running in the Abstract. hamster wheel of of trying to understand the self versus you know the simulacra, or whatever. This is a real thing, and no one has an answer. So you need to come to a consensus now on this show. No, this, this does not leave the show. This has right, an answer. Right, we have this has our, an answer because we have to have our final our final thoughts, and then we let the people decide. I, Pope Closing is, statements. Okay. Closing Pope statement. Aside, Closing statement. Pope, Pope aside, even if you were counting Pope as the position, I think that Trump, I actually think Trump and Ronaldo are more famous than that position because they're uh, Ronaldo as a, like the most recognizable global sports star is somebody, everybody everywhere will know on average. No matter where you are, Wait, even in places closing where thoughts about the uh, the fame yeah. thing, yeah, he, or, he, he or they about, yeah, you he fucked everything buckled. up. You kind of buckled it, a little you're bit. You're more. You need to defend. Your oh, answer. I need to defend, need to defend the Pope for the past twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Closing. <laughs> uh, <it's> crazy. <laughs> didn't know that. You're but, saying what? We're arguing what counts as fame because we we're Count? both on the same page. I don't think the Pope is the most famous. I thought I still think it's Trump. I started this uh, by saying okay. that. Okay, I think, I think that fame. Fame is about you being recognized as an individual separated from your position. So if you can be separated from your position in society and still be recognized as, as a famous person. So in Ronaldo's case, like after he quits playing soccer or in the Pope's case, after he is no longer the Pope and like, will people still know who like Francis is afterwards? Um, and what, or how well, or how recognizable is Trump after his presidency is over is a good marker of how famous somebody is. And it's more about them as an individual disassociated with the position that may have contributed to them being famous. And time. Time. <laughs> um, I take this one. Yeah, it's you. Okay. I, I, look, I would say. Don't say look, don't appeal to the audience. Uh, Just, he gave a dry 
It, it, it just <laughs> he fucked up for a full minute. Maybe, maybe, about maybe try Ronaldo. maybe try check it instead of look. Uh, check it. <laughs> Let's put a backwards hat on. Let me get it started. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think it is impossible to divorce the job from the human because fame is the lens in which other people view them. And so I forever, for many people in my small amount of fame compared to who we're talking about, yeah. am forever trapped in some people's minds as who I was two, three years ago when they heard of me and maybe sure. they've never seen me since. Mm -hmm. And so for you to say fame is actually when you are no longer famous no. and your, thing, your tenure is no past... Rebuttal. Your tenure has passed. You you're final no statements. Final statements. It you're no final longer statement. the Pope. You're no longer the president. Your tenure has passed. Your, your peak fame has passed. How famous are you then? To oh. me is, is a weird way to phrase it because I'm just looking for the peak, the most famous you have ever been, which for most people will be heavily associated with what job they had or what moment they had in time. Is, and I, I don't think you need to divorce those are, ideas. No, 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 no. Why are you... You what? distorted my final, 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 You can't just say Ed something Ed I didn't say. Ed 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 yes, he can. Because what you said is, is it's recorded. So if people can look at Ludwig and say it's that's what he said. It's And the viewers can... If Going they think, less is an advantage, but you got to hold that. And you, if your argument is sound enough, they will see through his bullshit. But there is no bullshit to see through. And this is the art of the debate. Debate. It's, it's, it's not a requirement that they be. No, it's not a final time. Time. <laughs> time. It's not a requirement. Time. And uh, you got 10 more seconds. Uh, you it, said Pope Benedict no, 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 when you no, no, talked no, no, about it. You time. said Pope Benedict when you talked time. about it. It's been really hard to get through this debate with my opponent. <laughs> and I just want to appreciate everyone for listening. And I All try right. to make it civil. Time. Okay. <laughs> so vote on your phones down in the comments. Who's right? Is it, <laughs> is it London or is it Annan? Or is it an abstraction of the self and it's between the two and that's me? a cop out? Or it's Nick, or is it who's me? just kind of weirdly grunting a lot. <laughs> Could be. I got into grunting a lot lately. Mm. My grunting? trainer hates it. He doesn't like it. Mm. I just walk around, I'll go. Like a tennis, oh, not when like you're working a tennis out? player? It's like when I'm working out and then right before like I gotta work out. When you hit the rep, you're like, ah! Oh! No, I don't make that noise. That was so aggressive. That's, that no, that's what it takes to get into semifinals of women's professional tennis. It does. Right. So it, this is fucking serious. It does serious. take exertion of effort. It's not just, a quiet title. I just like making noise. I don't like holding it in. Can if I, I feel this? anything. <laughs> I groan. What, you, what, you, what does Christian say? Cell phone. I'm looking at the topic list. <laughs> wow. Is, oh yeah, Th that reminds me. Wouldn't it be so? It'd be so much funnier if he was diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, isn't 100%. it just like why? just because like <laughs> we? Oh my god, we because we were watching. We call, a we call him beaties. <laughs> we we dupe you and eat and shit you shouldn't eat. Oh my god, he'd be time. tired all the time. Yeah. He like had some bad. juice. Yeah, and then we'd be like, "Why are you so tired?" He'd be like, "I'm diabetic." <laughs> And I can't, and my, and my glycemic index is just wait. And Dude, we'd be like, why don't you just watch your, camp rock. Why, why don't we watch your weight? And he's like, that's not how it works. Yeah, we were talking. No, that's not, no, it's not how insulin works. It's not how insulin works. Let me, let me explain. Insulin resistance is, no. So we were watching Camp Rock 2. Yeah. And, and Nick Jonas is diabetic mm -hmm. in it. And I was like, man. Not what? in Camp Rock in real life. Well, also in Camp Rock. It's not like it's stopped he playing, working. No, he's not playing Nick Jonas, is he? Well, what I'm saying is... They made his character diabetic, and in real life he's diabetic? No, oh. he's not diabetic as the character. This but is actually the same debate. The character, <laughs> the character in Camp Rock is still diabetic because the body of Nick Jonas is the one inhabiting the character. Does he, pre does he present diabetic? No, it's like, say it's like saying that, like, we were, so we were watching uh, uh, Batman, Christian Bale's the Batman in it. It's like, no, yeah, he's the Batman in the Batman, no, but he's no, not in the Batman if, outside if Christian of the Bale movie. in real life is diabetic... Then that means Batman, the Batman is, is Nick diabetic. Jonas more famous than the character he's played in Cape Rock <laughs> and <made him> famous. <laughs> if Trump has diabetes. <laughs> is, does he present diabetic? Is he like, oh, I'm kind of tired today. No. And I'm like, doesn't say it outright. Yeah. No, no like, there's not a shot of him checking his blood it, sugar. Does he like eat a sugary snack? Could the audience explore the idea <laughs> yeah. that maybe Nick Jonas like, was like in diabetic representation. In Spider-Man, Gwen has some presentation as trans. Okay. And so people have come to that conclusion. Right. And similarly in Camp Rock 2, does Nick mm. Jonas like eat a donut? <laughs> <laughs> and like he's in the cafeteria sometimes. Okay. He is eaten sometimes in the cafeteria. More often than other people? Mm. Uh, about the same rate, which same. Says, goes to show they might be at a diabetic summer camp. Does Camp Rock might be about... <gasps> 
kids with diabetes. It, learning, having learning diabetes, to play instruments. But say, also being an artist. Does he say something? Like, it doesn't rock. He goes, he goes, man, my, he goes, <laughs> he goes, I have, a, I have a fucking diabetes guitar, right? <laughs> yeah. It's, it's about how diabetes, <laughs> diabetes <laughs> diagnosed kids deserve to go to camp too. I wish you had diabetes. Right? It'd be so Why funny. Why would I be funnier if I had diabetes? It would, you just, you just the don't same get it. reason that, you know, people I, would say like, uh, Who's that guy who's funnier when he's fatter? They they always say that. Uh, Seth, uh, not Seth Rogen, the other guy, Jonah, Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill. It'd be like that. I don't even think that's true. Jonah Hill right now I looks insane. I don't know if it's insane. true, but even placebo work. Well, Jonah Hill has a line to Seth Rogen's character in Funny People where he says, fuck you. Like, you're weird skinny. You're funny fatter. Like, it's it's funny. It's, it's like a mirror. Yeah. It Poetry. It rhymes. It rhymes. Yeah. It rhymes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, diabetic Aiden. There were so many topics today. We just Dude, had we had. I a was going to bring day. up how I just found out that Robert De Niro and Al Pacino both had children at the age of seventy nine and eighty three, respectively. That's that tight. comes still that, pumping, baby. That fucking <laughs> insane. They're still it's pumping, calm Aiden. It's still impressive they got that many swimmers. That's what I was thinking. They're just they're they're, they're taking trend. God, they're how, taking trend. Oh, their call must be so weird. There's a picture You're yelling at Benjamin Button in the article I saw at that age. <laughs> of Al Pacino in the car with with the mother of his of his child, and Al Pacino looks like a a fucking skeleton. Yeah, and I was like, how are you even pumping? Yeah, it's because those ancient it Hollywood blue drugs. chew, baby. It's called blue chew. Yeah, oh, the blue chew. Mm -hmm. It gives Dude, Al Pacino all big titties. Blue chew's been getting all these Hollywood actors to do their ads. Yeah, this is starting to make some sense. The cabal of blue chew's taking over. <laughs> do me a favor, zipper. Oh my gosh. Dude, we're looking dude, at he a looks like Asmund Gold. You know what's yeah. funny? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? He probably pumps healthier than Asmund. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Every, every morning he wakes up and he gets all of his teeth blood and he draws <laughs> fun <laughs> pictures on the wall. Like, like a caveman. Like a caveman. He draws a buffalo. Let's and there was an Al Pacino. Like I was doing the LTK games next Let's pull up as we sweet because we should mention this because it is crazy. Are you talking about the it, blood? Yeah, were you here when we were talking about this before? No, I wasn't in. I saw it on Twitter, but I. We, uh, were, we were talking about it in our fucking free time. Yeah, in our free time yeah. before you showed up. I think you posted it too in the chat, right? Yeah, I put it in our in our friend personal chat. You're like I, he, Nick just can't stop I, thinking. Asman replied to this tweet zipper right he didn't tweet it himself but there was a tweet that asman replied to and uh and it was how in his bedroom there's blood stains on the wall and it's because he would wake up in the middle of the night and his gums would be bleeding and he'd wipe them and then just drag it on the wall yeah I, I, to get rid of it to get rid of it it yeah. was like it was like when rafiki makes the simba in the, in the tree <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. He said, the king has returned. <laughs> you know how much blood has to come out of your gums to like make oh. that like the amount of blood in the picture? There's so much. I used to flick my boogies on my walls and hide them and and it's not I, hiding them, it's displaying them as art. Well, what? I would try to hide them, but yeah, on the wall. Is when it, I was, yeah, here it is. When I was 12 or 13, I broke the light of my bedroom when my friends and I were being animals. Ever since then, I've just used a lamp because we were too far to oh oh this, this is, is this is him tweeting about it, and then there's blood on the wall. Separate oh to my that. god, it's so, so insane. It to is look so at. much. It actually makes me gag a little bit. I can fix him. <sighs> I can fix him. Wait, what was wait, was it on the wine about episode? You talking about you ate your boogers? Yeah, he still eats his boogers. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. You still eat your boogers. Just, can we not? You're, your boogers, you're a man. Is that like a diabetic <laughs> thing? No. Does it help you? I don't you want to talk regulate? about it. It's very shameful. Do you still okay. do it? In the car. That's I, crazy. Oh. We had a whole conversation. Do you like about the taste? This. No. It's, <laughs> oh, is it like snails? Just, I'll, I'll, I'll like, leave it alone after this. It's just a Why did you never think to just flick it out the window? And if you, I it, actually he's, do, he's not like Asmund Gold. I will leave it alone after this. I will leave it alone after this. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it because it's probably the most shameful thing. I'm going to leave it alone after this. But if earlier you voted for Aiden, that's your guy. Okay? So. End time. Wow. Bud slinging in this political climate. I just need to flick it out of the window. I never. I just. I like smelling my own farts. Aiden's got too much shit today. Aiden got way too much shit today. We need to pass it around. I got a lot of shit. I was also. Fuck you guys. I'm so drunk. I was the most drunk I've been in the no, last three when years. You don't eat your boogers yeah, you, when you, you drink. You eat them sober. He takes like a shot you just stop, You're not helping yourself. I'm trying to take the heat off of you. What's Nick? You what did Nick you do wrong? Let's put the heat Nick. on you. I was all excited to go on a fucking free trip to Brazil. What happened oh, to that? Oh my god. Good thing we, good thing we that, wasted that, so much time arguing really about who gets to go to Brazil. 
And then I watched them get smoked. So, so wow. in the call, okay. in the mogul moves Jeez, company I'm not, meeting. I'm not angry the at the team. I'm angry at you. The company, why? The, well, I'll explain why. The fucking, the, the all hands, every Friday, everyone gets in a call and we talk about what we're doing also, that week. Also, to be clear, to those people who may not understand this, mogul moves is not the four of us. Mogul yes. moves is a big company. It's, it's like an 18-person 18 18 company. 18 employees. So everyone's in this call together. Yin goes in there. It's crazy. Aiden never shows up. Aiden's never showing up. It's I fine. I do though. show up. I you missed this week. I was at a Ooh, wedding. Who cares? Went to a Love? Who, I didn't. Was it? Was it beautiful? Uh, did you weep? Yeah. Oh my god, he didn't say yes immediately. Yeah, it was. It was <laughs> like I did way. cry at the vows. There Aww. you go. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's a, that's a success. So we're wedding. at the all hands, and I used to, I like to update people on what's happening, and now you guys are mad at me. Because in the all hands, I mentioned that I needed a list of people who were going to follow the moist moguls to Brazil, to Sao Paulo, which is where the Ascension tournament is happening. Yes. Which is a tournament exclusive to the top two performing teams in North American Challengers of the 12 total teams. And we were in a match that same day to get that spot. Which we, of course, if you don't know and, by now, lost. And it took a lot of time for everyone to discuss who got to go, who wanted to go, who could Five go. Five to ten minutes. And it was like, oh, and it's cool. And everyone was really excited. And it was crazy that you... And then I asked the, a key question at the end of this meeting. You actually are... I asked a key question. Yeah, and I was I like, wait a minute. Wait, have they gotten in yet to go to Brazil? Oh. And Ludwig said, no. But, like, I'm just... You gotta, like, you know, you gotta, you know, plan for the, plan for the big day. And then they play that day, and they don't make it. They lost. It was crazy. crazy. First of all, I hate a rate to even say that. You, as a part of Mogul Moves, should never utter those words again. I, Bad juju. I actually Bad think juju. you're right, but I was just clarifying. Second, like I, just, I was asked by Riot three days prior to get the list. That was the oh. deadline. So Riot was on my ass about getting the list before we were in because they needed the information for all the teams, perspective teams. They want to rip it right out. They wanted to rip it. He said this in the meeting. And I did you, say you this guys in the meeting. Aidened. I did say this no, in the meeting. I remember this. I just want to be mad at it. And that's why I asked for the information. But he didn't I was already lead late. with this. Oh, that was doesn't matter. I don't know because he, it, it, it's, I don't know. I didn't have the context. And then you said that after you when, you were, when you were called you just out. Mad you just got no, me, you got got me all out. riled up. Me and Yingling kept talking about, we're going to Brazil, man. Look, we're going to Brazil together, you and me. Do you think I'm happy? <laughs> Yingling thinks Brazil's in Mexico. It's a whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did tell him. I was like, I was looking at the flights and like how long it was going to be. How long is it? Uh, dude, it, it takes almost like 20 hours. Because you have to stop somewhere. You can't go direct. You, no, I figured it'd be zero a, direct like, th from LAX. Like a similar distance to Japan. Uh, no, it's shorter physical distance, but there's no directs from LAX. There's no pathing. It's probably because they it's bad the padding. mountains. Bad I don't pathing. Know. Yeah, bad pathing <laughs> over <laughs> Peru. Hey, hey Sam, from one over. They, they've got bad pathing over Peru for sure. Demand. Japan's further because we were only allowed to fly to the right. Yeah, that's true. Also, I don't. There's not a lot of places to stop in the ocean. Factor, 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 <laughs> factor, factor, factor. No, we don't. We don't factor, do this. Factor, factor. Well, if, if Nintendo finds out hey. we're using their melodies, uh, what, what factor is, will what get is carpet bombed? I, I, I made that up. You did not make that yeah, up. Yeah, that's the next spot. Shigeru Miyamoto made that up, and he will fucking Fellas! kill you. Fellas, I'll tell you what I make. Oh, fresh factor meals. Two minutes in the microwave, and I got a delicious, nutritious, chef prepared meal straight from from the door. He doesn't even <laughs> eat them. The thing about factor is fresh, never frozen meals ready in just two minutes. Ludwig will heat that, heat it up, and then just rub it all over. And that's his the body. thing. It's straight from the door. I won't do one meal. All over he can fit one meal this. in his hole. I can't. Which which meal do you like to put in your hole? Is it the apple cinnamon <sighs> pancakes, the bacon and cheddar egg bites, or the potato? We used to call him Salmon Pocket Samuel in high school. <laughs> that's where he <laughs> you kept all his salmon pocket Samuel. Samuel. If you don't want to be I'd salmon, probably pick Samuel. potato and bacon. Yo, to put in your bacon. Would you do keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, protein or plus, protein plus? Obviously, you would do that plus, one yes. to fill with your like cement I in your hole. Put it in my hole. I would eat it. Yo, okay. it's, approved, it. it's approved by chefs. No, sorry, it's prepared by chefs, not approved. Well, probably well, both. And then approved. also, the approved, chefs do not approve of the meals. The chefs make it, but they don't approve. The dietitians have the chefs at gunpoint. The dietitians approve it, but they don't make it. It's a great deal. They compliment each other. It's like the American government. Bit of a yin yang situation. Head to factormeals.com slash the yard 50 use code the yard 50 to get 50% off your first box because Ludwig if you don't use this code Ludwig will take all the factor meals and he'll put them in his hole and he'll rub them on himself hole. and they're gone forever. I will 
one bite but. them like from Ned's declassified. Don't code, you understand? He's coconut. Code head. the yard fifty at factormeals.com slash the yard fifty to get fifty percent off of Ludwig's box. It's America's number one it's ready meal fun. kit. And if you again, if you don't get this this deal, Ludwig's box will go on sale. It's not Ludwig's my box. box is it's a not free. My box. If anybody can use it in what? any way, Ludwig's box. If Thank you, you use the code goodbye, Ludwig's goodbye, box goodbye, is free. Back to the ad, back to the ad, back to the ad. <laughs> and this is the real show. And the what you're, what you're watching normally is the ad. It's like Tibet. Brazil is the Tibet of. We could go to Brazil ocean. anyway. Let's do a trip. Come uh, on. I. We don't go on a crazy. We should go on a Mormon mission trip. We should split into two groups of two and see who converts more people in Brazil. Yeah. In, in Mormonism? Brazil? We yeah. have to convert first. It's a popular place for Mormon mission. You don't have to. You can sell anything. No. I can sell you this pen. I don't use pens. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. You know what I'm saying? You have a pen. But I could. I would buy one if you had one right now. I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think we'll ever go on a trip for the podcast again? Ever? Dude, it's been like, <laughs> like a couple months. Like, when's our last trip? It wasn't that long ago, right? Ever, Japan. It was so we'll recent. Ever, do you think we'll ever go on one? We went to Japan in love, February. Um, could we do no one? No way you say it that Dad? way. He does. We've February. done this before. Bedroom. Fucking, I hate How you. do you say it? February? February. 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 Oh I'm not. God. I'm not taking this bait again. It's I've, not bait. I've done this. You, you have. It's you not have bait. I've this before. Right? It's it's still bait because you still say Valorant. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say it like an asshole. What That's you how you say it. No, I say Valorant. You bounce though. Valorant. Yeah, I hate the bounce. It's like why do you do Valorant. that? I'm just happy. You, no, you're not happy. You happy. asked him earlier. Do I look happy in a sad tone? You say you do. You like, just said that. It's like about a, about Mark Smogel's losing. You use a bounce like a, like a Spanish N. Like it's like Valorant. I am you, have to, you have to have it on the letter. Yeah, there's yeah. an accent mark on it. It's got a accent ego. Um, oh wait, wait! I really banger idea. Oh Listen my gosh, to you're gonna like it. I don't think okay. I will. Do I'm you listening. know about Bang Bros? Mm. Is that where they wow. fuck people? The yes, porn company, it's an old ethical, porn series. Maybe. No. Probably not ethical. Certainly probably not. unethical. Where they drive a van around and they have sex in the van. Oh, okay. And they probably, film it. Probably unethical. Zipper just showed the Al Pacino picture again. <laughs> Who yeah. invented so, Bang Bros? So he's That's an what equity he's holder. For. I had a better idea than that. Wow. Ethical. Wait, bang let me put bros. on my Al Pacinko. All right, sell it as Tony Starr. <laughs> it's called <sighs> Bang Bros. And, and it's a van where it's like dude perfect and they go around doing trick shots that make you say dang yeah so he said this to me I don't, uh, he, he actually practiced this on me <laughs> how'd it go uh, about as well as this is going yeah. I don't wanna I don't wanna be around anymore <laughs> dude I love saying that <laughs> do you guys not think this is a good idea no dang, I bros. don't I don't I don't I actually wanna move past this like so quickly what are you talking about I'm, I'm, I, I am feeling like I'm crazy pills. Yep. It's yeah. so good. I also, yeah. Twitter, good also feel like you're taking crazy pills. Yeah. What yeah. is wrong? Is crazy tell me what's wrong with the idea. Tell me, tell me why it's bad. Be, be a fucking human being to me for once <laughs> okay. and explain why it's bad instead of laughing in my face. <laughs> Let me reach why across this the fucking aisle haircut. <laughs> Let me reach across the aisle. Here, check it. <laughs> this, this would fail on TBS. <laughs> explain. Dang. Show your work for once, you piece of shit. Like... <laughs> Dang, bro. So, like, if we go somewhere and we set up a hoop really far away, <laughs> really far, and it's gonna be so impressive if we make it, and there's a random person, and we're like, check this out, <laughs> and we just miss for a while because that's what happens. We just don't post that one, you fucking no, idiot. No, 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 you I think don't. Dude Perfect hits those? I'm saying, I'm saying, when we eventually hit it, they're not gonna be that hype. They're gonna be like, oh, fuck yeah, you got it finally. Because it will have taken us so long to get it. It'd be like if David Blaine did a magic tour, but he fucked up the first 15 times on all his tricks, and it was still the same people in front of him. And he's like, uh, all right, this time for real, no, I'm going to put it through my arm. Like, you hit a shot, and someone's like, damn. And <laughs> you're like, you Fuck, said well, it's, the not, it's not damn, bro. <laughs> no, go on, try again. Look, yeah. I don't want to have to make it again. So you can just like, it's dang. We'll just we'll so pan over say to you. The, and say the fucking line. And you say, dang, bro. Hey, we're just going to pan you, say the line, and we're going to be here for another hour trying to get the shot, and we'll just edit it. <laughs> Actually, can we just film you saying the line, and we'll go shoot trick shots at home later? Uh, that's I, a good and better idea. Can I tell we already you, improved can it. Can I tell you another reason why it's bad? Why? It's origin. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
Elaborate. Com- com- <laughs> Makes from- no sense to me what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking it does the way you're talking. It comes from Bang Bros, right? <laughs> right. That's a, that's like a name, like a recognition. That's, like all a American brand. Brand. that's his outfit. He's ethical, ethical. It's like a brand recognition thing. Spin-off. Bang Bros, it's it's like, Bang Bros like, is like is like DeWalt or Coors Light. It's an American recognized brand. The thing that people are really good at, I think everyone is good at ideating off of something else. But if you're ideating thank off you. of something. <laughs> By the way, thank you. I know yeah, you're I, gearing up to compliment. I, that's a compliment. We can move past it. This is a shit oh, sandwich. Just... This is a shit sandwich, and you ate the bread, but it's not all good. It, after, uh, <laughs> I gotta tell you that you're iterating off something dumb. So it's like, uh, what wait a minute. It, it was unethical, but <laughs> people watched it. I know, but I, so I watched my favorite porn growing up was called Izzy Gets Hosed. Yeah, I could iter- iterate off that I all day. In the old story about it's a weird, this, that's a weird favorite porn. You didn't say it was, say it was your favorite. It was my favorite. You said it's like saying like my favorite meal is ice cream. It's like it's not like no. a main dish. I don't think Izzy gets toast. I don't this think this is my that's... favorite porn. Izzy gets toast. There's a lot of replay funny. value. You can't just <laughs> watch that. a lot that of replay value. I showed it to all my friends. Yeah, Did you? Yeah, yeah, you told us about I showed, that. I showed everybody Izzy, and but so I can iterate <laughs> off Izzy. You know, yeah. Uh, um, I wouldn't want you to. Uh, fizzy gets hosed, and we, <laughs> <laughs> we spray people with uh, soda pop. I just oh, I, I was thinking fizzy. I, I, uh, I thought you were talking about jazz. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that's so gross. <laughs> you terrible. cannot talk about jazz no, that I was way. Not talking the fizzy hose show. And we go around, we shake up bottles of soda, and we spray kids the beach. Okay. Uh, Why kids? Right? It's not well, a sexual know, show. It's so like it's, a... But it's, you said hose. Well, kids are at the beach. No, it's a, the hose is the... Oh. What do you think Izzy gets hosed means? No, no, no. But the way you said hose, I, I said like plural You see uh, how we iterated off something and immediately... It, it, <laughs> it fell apart. Bad, right? <laughs> well, I, but hey, no, I don't actually, don't no, I see it works. bros, no kids. <laughs> Absolutely not. I, no, no, I respect that about dang bros. <laughs> That's the only thing I respect. No, think, the beauty is that the kids are the audience. You don't think the kids should be in the audience? Because the kid, you want the kids to say "dang" and not "damn." Yeah, we don't want them swearing. Keep it clean. Making kids say clean. "dang" across America. Kids hold the hands across America, say "dang" at dang. our cool trick shots because they can't curse. In a van. <laughs> it's a conservative and show, and it's a van. Remember. And the kids can ride. And there's in the van. conservative values. This if they want to take a ride show. in the van, go to the beach. We can take them to and fro. <laughs> a conservative podcast where we make trick shots. To make the audience say, dang. Dang. And also vote red. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. To yeah. slowly convert. And then we get super pack money. To slowly turn California into a red state. <laughs> this, is called, this is called the blue hair bitch shot. Yeah. This is, this is, called, this is called meatball runs. So fantasy <laughs> <laughs> you know, guys, I will let you guys use the yard money to do the first episode. I will not be a part of it. Dang, you, you have bros. to be a part Dang. of it. Dang, <laughs> Dang it. bro! It already rolls off the tongue, This bitch. sounds like an Amanda Bynes cut, like an Amanda Bynes show. It does sound like a, an all that sketch. Yeah. And I'm in a bathtub yeah. and... Yeah, dang, bro. We, we wrote it. We kind of already wrote this sketch once. We wrote the, the Perfect Dudes. You remember that? The Perfect Dudes? We, yeah, we wrote a, a sketch for the yeah, Yard of the shot, remember, remember. and it was the Perfect Dudes. Nick, Nick's... Dude Perfect's phase was so funny. He was talking about the cruise. He was writing sketches based on Dude Perfect. Oh my god. It was so that sketch is so that funny. Might have been the most crushed Nick has been is Nick is like, dude, we should go to the Dude Perfect. He cruise. was down. I'll yeah. never forget and then that. Slime instantly was like, no, nah, it's dumb. Yeah. Dude, and dude, Nick was like, what are you talking about? He's like, so funny. He's yeah. like, ride or die. It was, it was like me saying Roddy Mullen it sucks. Actually, He's like, Whoa. Dude, it would be it would be us. And just families from Middle America. It'd be so funny. Dude, I'm so riz- glad Rizzing up here. some dude perfect moms. <laughs> You're seeing the value in the there, trip. There's I like at that. Least, there's at least one swingers party on the dude perfect The only cruise. reason it'd be kind of cool <laughs> is because I've always, ever since I was in college, known that cruises are the best place to murder people. Yeah. Oh. You just throw someone over that bit. Mm-hmm. And, and that's never, done deal. They'll never there's check whole, and they'll never find the body. I'm watching Succession right now. There's a whole subplot about that shit. Really? Yeah. That's tight. My teacher used to tell us that all the time. She's a crime writer. Wow. Ambitious. Because you <laughs> don't have to... Re- isn't it... A successful you, crime is writer. because you don't have to report and she died. the guy? Ambitious. Tried to live, probably. <laughs> huh? Is it because you don't have to report the murder or something? Uh, it's because they can't find the body and they can't see what happens and <laughs> they don't stop This feels like an, save. an endorsement. I'm not endorsing Cruises, murder. Cruises, where it can happen. <laughs> That's on the I dude, think. on the dude, perfect cruise. On the dude, perfect Boats cruise. are like the, one of the only places if someone goes missing, you just assume they're dead. You move on. Yeah. Like, like, if someone like, goes missing like, 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 from school, it's like, well, they could be anywhere. And they don't open up like a homicide case usually. They're not yeah. like, oh. Well, because we they're probably just in it's the It's a water. missing case. Yeah. 
unless there was motive. If how, you how were to go guys, on a cruise, I'd fucking kill I you. I'd make sure this. they knew. I thought about this when I was. so bad for you? Nick's talking. I, I thought about asshole. this when I was thinking about the Titanic for one day. Um, if you fell off a boat and the boat kept, went away and whatever, and for some reason, uh, well, maybe I shouldn't say that. For some reason, you don't know which direction the boat left. So you fell off the boat, you went underwater, you got confused, you came back up, and the boat's gone, right? How would you decide what direction to swim? You can't. You just pick and you How would you decide? It. How would you decide? I would look at the sun and I would find out where my cardinal directions were and I'd swim and I'd be a you, chad. So you would wait, 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 north, south, east, west. You, you figure you out where it is. You wouldn't swim. Right? Well, oh my you, God. you don't need to know where the boat is going or heading to know where your cardinal direction is. No, I know. I'm, the reason why I took out the boat is because you could t- potentially just go the direction the boat was going. Right. And, say, but, and assume that's closest to land. What I'm saying is like if you know the boat's going from like A to B, you know where A is, you know where B is. And so you could know that direction. It's like east to west. And then you find that out with the sun and then you swim. I guess what I'm not saying that the boat's direction is the closest to land. I'm saying you have to find land because you're in the water. Right. The west, even though the boat's not heading west, could be closest to land. It's not where the boat's going. But well, do, you, you, do you know where you got off? No. I, no wait, oh. Well, you'd have to know how long you were on the boat yeah. and how long the voyage is supposed like, to do you take. Know where That's all you know. know. All you know. So it depends. Yeah. Because I think the it difference depends. is, like, if you're, if you're fucking in the middle of the ocean, you probably don't swim at all. I think your the, only the, angle is to wait. So you're, so you're as the answer. If you guys were to spawn in the middle of the ocean, there's no boat, no trip. You okay, spawn in the middle of the spawn, ocean, you would just die and not swim. You just go, okay, I lose. So you're just wanting us to pick a direction we like the most. I Mine's west. I'm saying what you would, would you pick, Vern. if you figured out where north was, would you, would you go north? Do you know something I don't? I don't think I would pick a direction. I don't, couldn't tell you the direction I go, but I could tell you whatever, whatever direction I pick, I stick to. You gotta stick to it. But what if, Fair. if you went east, it was so close? I might go a direction <laughs> that I think I could consistently swim in. I'd go how I bet in blackjack. I would randomly change my directions, but never backwards. But you're always going backwards if you're changing your directions. No, I would, know, go, I would go, go north, like then northeast. Be, 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 that's like less progress. Kind of like a straight line is always going to help you out. One straight shot. One shot like Aiden's dad. <laughs> point, Aiden. Like that. Aiden's dad and cutie messaging him. Did you see the tit- Did you see the Titanic thing? Yeah, Dude. it was crazy. It sunk and everything. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they do, that was so funny. They do <laughs> submarine so tours to go see the Titanic oh, I have seen rubble. That. Yeah. And it costs like a quarter mil a person. Do you, oh, because it's probably pretty deep. Yeah, it's pretty deep and expensive. And the submarine, missing. What? Mm-hmm. That's Wait. scary shit. Wait, yeah. the submarine that went down to go see the Titanic yep. went missing? Missing. It's, they're, Wait, so they're the people dead. died. They're looking for the no, submarine. They, have a submarine. they live underwater forever. I don't know how <laughs> submarines work. So I, I do because there was a cool Wendover video where he tells you how it works. Titanic tourist what? submersible goes missing with search underway. What a terrible what, way what, to what's die. The, date on this? the ocean scares the shit out of me. Uh, yeah, it's fucking. It's like the space, but I am also a it. grown man afraid of the ocean. I would quicker go to space. That's why I don't like. Than the- I would do the James Cameron Marina Trench hole thing. That's I like so to be. Scary. I like still being on Earth. I don't want to be floating around like an asshole. I want to. I want to die where I came from. You like land? You, you mean? Yeah. You this is all Earth. No, I'm saying no. if you're going to space and get lost and die, or go in the water and get lost and die. I'd rather di- die in the Marina Trench than in the space. Are there diseases on Mars? I don't think they have bacteria. Can I go to Mars and get Mars COVID? No, because they don't have <laughs> life. That would be life, right? Yes. There's life. We'd be like really pogged mm. out yes. of our brains if they had life. Mm. <laughs> It w- Ludwig's right. The only, <laughs> the only way is, uh, maybe there's some thought about maybe stuff being preserved under ice. If we like start leaking caps. shit on Mars, maybe. But maybe. Go give go start COVID on Mars. I mean, we don't I know. Guess, I guess Buzz Aldrin could have dragged his balls on stuff, and maybe it just <laughs> sticks there. Forever. That's where sickness comes from, dude. Al Pacino coming on Mars. And just his cum just becoming like a society. <laughs> like like uh, Poseidon <laughs> when he that? came What's to the ocean <laughs> and he birthed. Do you know that? <laughs> Do you know the horror movie where they're... What's that like kind of new horror movie where they're in the nope. space station and there's that white... Is it... New horror The white movie. goop in know. the machine and it like breaks the guy's arm. I don't know. Oh, oh, and about. it's but it's white and spongy, and I'm just thinking about that whole movie, but instead of an alien, it's Al Pacino's cum. <laughs> it's Al Pacino's cum. <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, I got a great ass. <laughs> you guys should watch Heat. That's a good Al Pacino. I've heard Heat's good. It's, he's amazing, and he says that in it. 
and it's, he's just on coke the whole movie and they were just like well like he's the here. actor Al Pacino was on coke yeah, the whole movie like, and, and also the character because <laughs> because he, he right, yes. right and right. he had diabetes you, you can only he's count Ahmed. it as Al Pacino being famous if you recognize him on coke in street clothes <laughs> <laughs> yeah this movie life oh is this spooky yeah bears? he's gonna Al Pacino's cum is gonna break his wrist in a no. second no Al Pacino, Al Pacino, you're calm. No, Ew. stop, Al Pacino. Is it spooky movie, Bears? It uh, looks spooky it movie. It tries to be. It looks Though like they kill scared. people on the space no, station. No, because it's just, it's goopy. It's Al Pacino's calm. It's not that scary. <laughs> There's nothing to be scared. Yeah. In fact, that's a, that's a hotbed of life. Yeah. If you will. Keeps giving. Or if you won't. <laughs> no matter. <laughs> Where are we at? Time, time boy? Sun setting time boy? What's the we got maybe 5'10". That's insane. That's not true to me. Okay. He, is he right? Is his spidey sense? <laughs> oh, ten more. Fuck. Oh man. I got so much piss in my balls. Why don't you show us what you're working with for once in your fucking life? The That's piss? Uh, first of all, sexual harassment. Two. <laughs> so, <laughs> to talk about the piss in your balls? He said, "Why don't you show us what you're working with for once?" And they pointed out my dick and yeah. stared at it the I whole time. I did not time. point at your I've dick. I've seen it. I've what? seen it in the onsen. Come to the onsen, you'll see it. Dude, we were talking about you in the onsen. Yeah, you said I was your shit around. Like, I was not swinging like, my like a shit dwarven around. Dwarven hammer. I was <laughs> not. <laughs> Dude, yeah. I, what was uh, the only thing that I thought was cringe is how you specifically got a piercing before it. Yeah, you, it's you, like we get it. You think we'll get the gaslight in forever? Yeah. Don't worry, kiddo. Look, we'll, <laughs> we'll always be like this. And one day, he'll, he'll just become diabetic. Oh, and it'll be even funnier. Yeah. And then me diabetes. and Nick Jonas will have something in fucking common so I can talk to him instead of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, fucking. you don't mean that. <laughs> there's a depressing show. I forget who it is. But there's, it's like a show that's... I saw a bunch of advertisements for cable TV because I was getting a manicure pedicure with Cutie. Mm. And they just had only commercials playing and they never switched a channel. It was like an infomercial channel. Sick. And one of the commercials that came on, uh, I learned about two new shows. The first one is a prank show with Johnny Knoxville and Eric Andre on ABC, which blew my mind because I didn't think they were uh, cable Andes. Yeah. But they're back to being cable Andes. You got to work. People got to eat. And then the second one was a show and it's all siblings of famous people. And they're, you, you have to guess who they are related to. And the host of it is the fourth Jonas brother. Oh, and Frankie. that's how I found out there's a fourth Jonas brother. They call him the bonus Jonas. And uh, Judy <laughs> said that exact thing. And I said, that's so mean. Well. Look, that's <laughs> look, like the, there's that's three like of the, them uh, and brother. one of them is already that's not a, good looking. It's like the brother in the Kardashians. Yeah. And then that's what she said too, is the ugly one was the other host. There's a Kardashian brother. Yeah. Uh yeah, Chris. He's just locate. I think not Chris really in the show. Does he just live in Glendale. He, <laughs> he just lives in Glendale in like a one bedroom <laughs> and just hangs out. He's like yeah. he's eleven hundred a month. He's like I do social media right now, but <laughs> I'm like I got a side project going. He works in Starbucks, but he like does his ASU degree on the side. <laughs> hey, don't make fun of that. Okay, they, it's a great education program. I didn't say it was bad. We were saying the the yard live well, at ASU is a really good idea. Yeah, uh, it would be a really funny idea. Like, that's just tough. hard, bro. It's a tough crowd. Ah, uh, not for us. I mean, we'll we, you guys didn't do the tours. Would we we'll perform to the school? <laughs> yeah, it'd be like a Mac yeah, Lamar I mean, show. I don't, I don't think we'd want to do that. <laughs> Can you, I mean, we, we did like the chess boxing at the Galen Center. That's not like performing to the school. Yeah, you would just perform at a local venue, but. Sure. And it's like, presumably, $10 most off attendees. for ASU students. Yeah, student discount. If you bring two girls, you get it yeah. for free. Yeah. <laughs> chill. BYOB, girls get also, free. Also, if you're from SAE, you're probably chill, so we get you in there. No <laughs> thetas. <laughs> no thetas for real at, at all. No thetas. Yeah. Uh, no Fijis. <laughs> Dude, no Democrats. When, when Aiden slides into his like freshman year Chad like character, it's so funny because he knows all this shit that I've never heard, <laughs> and he just he just does it so like clean. Do you guys fluid. have mochis? Mochis? No, it's I don't called think mochi. So. <laughs> Dude, I saw I quarter Jade's Instagram story. She's in Japan, and she she's like, "Yo, if you ever try ma- matcha in Japan, it's the it's the dopest shit. It's so good." She's just holding up Starbucks. And I'm like, you went all the way there for the fucking, the matcha, the Starbucks matcha. They'd probably uh, source it differently. Uh, I bet it's good. But it's just funny because it's like, I guess it's, Nick did the same thing. What? He, what he sought do? out a blue bottle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was, was it better? It was a good coffee shop. Yeah, it was better. It was yeah. better. 
but it's like blue oh, bottle's I, good i need it was like when we went to McDonald's. Blue bottle sucks here. Unironically. We did go to Blue. I don't like it here. Really? I like it. No. I don't like uh, it. We did seek out McDonald's, and that was also better. Dude, the I, we did, a, we did, did it ironically. I did that in, in, in Zurich, and I got Zurich. McDonald's, because I was like, surely Swiss do- McDonald's is immaculate, and it was. Zurich, you're fucked. That's a Metal Gear reference. It's not. No, it's from a video he likes. From, from a video. He does it every time. Of course you I know. You know, know the meme, man. Is it a he Metal Gear me, impersonation? I am Slime's best friend oh if we did a slime quiz i would beat you nope i would win uh he doesn't win i definitely win mm. <laughs> i can't believe you slept in my closet yeah i'd still i think you know many rides to work i've had with you mm. you just talk about your fucking life and i listen you talked about your life yeah we both did we're friends do you remember when your tire popped yeah me too we had an exploding tire on the freeway with him once. I was yeah. like, oh, that's what that feels like. Was it? Well, how is it? Because I'm... It's really hard. Yeah, my we, tire... We, we, we felt like we ran over like a, like a dog. Like a big rock or but a dog But it didn't like made immediately start veering like a, rock a movie. Dog. No, I mean, you definitely don't can drive as well. Well, I, we would have, but I masterfully sort of steered it perfectly straight. And then when I got us over safely... He pulled over. I, well, I got us he out of dangerous over, way. Right? Uh, we over. checked the. I got us out of dangerous yeah, way. Over. To he the, pulled over to the side of the, the road. Side of the road. Well, I pulled, yeah. over, pull I pulled over. over seven lanes without hitting anyone. So. Seven yeah. lane highways in, in LA. Yeah, absurd. you know what I did? It which, wasn't seven. Which lanes. highway is that? No, it was actually. Which it highway? wasn't seven lanes, but we were which at seven lane left. highways in LA. Also, you know what I liked the most about riding with Nick in the morning was his music, because he would just play music that I like. Like that's how I started listening to Comethazine, and I was like. <laughs> I was like, this a, is a good. fresh 9 a.m. Comethazine. <laughs> yeah, it really wakes you up. It's like a it's like a shower beer for your ears. <laughs> Dude, you ever have just a fucking Coke in the shower? I'm not I'm unironically. Like a, you ever have a cold drink in the shower is what Yo, I'm saying. Uh, straight edge memes. It's R slash straight edge memes is going hard right now. I've had a beer in the shower. Is it was it cold? Yeah, of course. It hits fucking differently when you're in a uh, it's like, like a beer and it's like a cold uh, drink in a jacuzzi. It's like that. It's like whoa. I've never Maybe been this that. is a thing. Never done Dipper that. Three does this. This is a thing. This she's is like, absolutely this is a thing. She's she like, has I love shower a, coke. I love a shower coke. Yeah. Like, what? You guys are fucking you cra- slaves <laughs> to corn syrup. And this then you is drink crazy. it. I, no, it's, it's not the sugar. It's the coldness me. contrasting the hot environment. Oh, okay. It's that's mm. the nice part. I've never drank in a drink in the shower in my whole life. Dude, go crack a spin drift in the shower. Spindri- popsicle, popsicle shower. Popsicle shower. With your bad the guy, self. There's the guy on Twitter who just has shower food and rates it. That's different. That guy oh. eats like Parmesan cheese. <laughs> yeah. like like a a I think it started chicken. with shower coke, and I think he went down a slippery slope he can't get out of for content. <laughs> it's a gateway. It's a gateway. It is drug. a gateway. A slurpee's not the same, though. I wouldn't want a slurpee in the shower, but it is colder. We should have done a show in the onsen with our dicks out. Yeah. We, should, we just No, we could do chance. it because you know how you're supposed to carry the towel around yeah. in front of you? We could do it. Towel, towel, small tower covering penis, and we sit on the side of the onsen. I'm surprised Logan Paul never d- ventured there. Yeah, like he was gay. He went to the suicide forest before like, the onsen. Yeah, because it's it's it, like <laughs> walking around like horrible <laughs> death is way He's cooler like, than being. Well, I'll film a dead guy. I'm not filming <laughs> fucking gay people. Yeah, I'm saw, filming penises. I actually just saw a Nelk clip about this unironically, <laughs> and it's the Nelk. It's the Nelk boys <laughs> interviewing Theo Vaughn. And they're talking about how like Logan was unfairly canceled, and and the dude, the main Nelk boy, is like, yeah, I didn't really give a shit. And I'm like, are we? Is this? This is like not a controversial thing to take a stance <laughs> on. He filmed a dead body. I think the and left and right were it. agreeing at that time. <laughs> and then, we all came together to reach across yeah. the aisle and say that it wasn't that fucking it, big of a deal. Dude. It was a nice bipartisan moment, and the, the fucking Nelk boys are like, yeah, we should be able to fucking do a pod with like these fucking dead bodies. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's Nelk, bro. You know, it's like they yeah. when they t- they say shit, other people won't. They just tell the truth. <laughs> yeah. They say what everybody's they're like thinking. Joe Rogan telling debate me pussy to like doctors, and they're like, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Is yeah, the SpongeBob beanie like the Make America Great Again hat there? It's the Toy In Story. Japan? Yeah, yeah. If you like roll around with that, <laughs> that was, <laughs> it's like a statement. Yeah, that was huge for Shinzo. You go around like I actually do that shit was raw. Become American <laughs> after Shinzo got shot. Everyone was rocking that. <laughs> <laughs> I, think an, I think an American survives that that gun. Uh, they oh hate. yeah, we, uh, I take that gun no, and I'm they, like, I'm like, like, this is nothing. American yeah, because sometimes, don't, sometimes it's the Darwinism. Shorty, or sometimes we're now the talking about eugenics shots. of being able to take bullets. It's mm. not eugenics. You're an idiot. That's just normal genetics. No, this is Darwinism. If, if in America, the, the people who survive American gun blasts Darwinism? are the only ones left. Yeah. 
It's so you should give me that fucking Lego gun. I'm easy. I'm Don't good. Don't just say words that you think. I'm going you know to basketball practice. He would that also be. He would also what be a better I Japanese prime minister. Look, I, I'd hate to wrap this up quickly, but I have I have to go play with my new stack. In Valorant, who's your new stack? My new stack, Yagling, Yagling, yeah. old part of the old stack, okay. and Pokemane. What? Because she DM'd me after I replied to her. No way. She wants to play with you? No, she didn't reply at all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I thought, I thought it was so funny she didn't reply. Uh, yeah, she has no reason to. You know what I realized <laughs> when I replied to the tweet? Because it, it popped up on my timeline was uh, I didn't follow her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Some things truly just never change. They never change. Yeah. I wow. played Pokey and I fucking fragged out. Really? I dropped like a 33. You played with like Pokey but not with me? I dropped like a 33 kill. No, he, played, he played a whole stack of them. That's fucked them. up. Yeah, he That's played with like up. Lily and all of them and shit. Oh, so all of this stuff about, I don't, Pokey, like, your, I don't like your ELO. Pokey hit free ascend in Immortal. That. Nothing you're to playing do with her. And I fragged over her. In no, no, but, you, but the principle. In both games. You, you don't play you with your friends. Yeah. Like you say you don't play with people with high rank, you get killed. You play with people with high rank. I'm obviously playing with clouded fucking five stack, right? I'm not as... I don't do... Yeah, I'll break the shit player. I don't do Gucci shoots. I don't go to Paris Fashion Week and get paid to post hot photos of myself, Ludwig. Even though I would like that. Even though I'd like to do that instead of sitting next to you. He'd like that. Can I reach across the aisle and tell you really why? Why? This is going to hurt your feelings. Are you sure you want to hear it? <laughs> yes. I hate when he says that. What? I think your skill... Oh. It's a little worse than your rank. Oh, I just don't think that's true. Oh, and hey, with that, we'll go to the premium episode so we can hash that one we'll out. Hash that one out. That's um, a meme. No, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> let's go to the premium episode if you want to go to the premium, patreon.com slash the yard. Thank you for watching The Yard this Goodbye. week. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye man. It's the dildo of the fragrance industry. <laughs> and yeah, it's not so that? funny actually. Still don't know how to talk about the co topic of masturbating. <laughs> it's difficult, man. I, I do it, but I don't come. And you know, it's, it's just like <laughs> what? A, I can be that honest, but <laughs> it's simply to boost my power type of vibe. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ultimately, of course, I want to have a girlfriend and. A oh wife. my God! This is like this is like Henry's kitchen. Into a wife and have great kids. So that's Perry Alice 360 Red. <laughs> <laughs> that is, this, is, that this, is beautiful. Uh, uh, dude, I, I, I was saying for like mm, power type of vibe <laughs> to myself.